updates. Hello. Welcome to Hello. Welcome to King Sports. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for recent updates. Hello. Welcome to King Sports. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for recent updates. Hello. Welcome to King Sports. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for recent updates. Hello. Welcome to King Sports. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for recent updates. Hello. Welcome to King Sports. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for recent updates. Hello. Welcome to King Sports. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for recent updates. Hello. Welcome to King Sports. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for recent updates. Hello. Welcome to King Sports. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for recent updates. Hello. Welcome to King Sports. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for recent updates. Hello. Welcome to King Sports. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for recent updates. Hello. Welcome to King Sports. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for recent updates. Hello. Welcome to King Sports. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for recent updates.
So good morning, uh, one and all. Uh, welcome to the second day of uh, Ocean Cricketers Pundit House Presents uh, Ocean's Premier League 2024 Season 4. Uh, we have the first match of the day between uh, Nithya 11 versus Haisala Babakade. Both the teams have won both their opening game. Uh, so this will be the deciding game for both the team. Uh, to let us know which team will be on the top of the points table. And the opening bowler will be Yakub. Will be starting the opening over. And we have the two umpires, two umpires for the opening match. We have uh, Pradeep Kotari and uh, Ranjesh Uchila. They are the two umpires for this opening game. And the ball is under the hands of uh, Jakob. And also we do have the live coverage of this tournament. The live uh, coverage, uh, you can watch the exclusive live coverage in King Sports. Uh, they are the media partner for this tournament. And here is the first ball. Uh, Yakub uh, coming right arm over the wicket. Uh, passing them pad. Balling to Abu. And he starts with the wide. Uh, with that, the team, Anithya uh, Levin, uh, opens your account with the form of an extra. The captain of uh, Hoysala Subhash. Uh, after winning it has no hesitation to bowl first we have seen uh, in the last two games uh, both the times uh, the team always uh, like captain after losing the toss uh, the opening team asking them to bat first uh, and they are the the first team uh, to score the highest uh, runs in this tournament uh, so this time once again a single taken coming in the part of uh, Ganesh. So both the batters are off the mark uh, with a single adding to their individual account. Jakub, uh, third time. And this time, once again, no situation for the umpire. Uh, the batsman Abu going for the switch side. The last one not offering a shot because the ball was slightly far away from the leg stick. Uh, this time, a fair delivery coming at the end. Uh, the ball coming uh, well in, uh, resulting with the dot ball. Uh, nicely swept. There is a fielder kept on the short third man region inside the 30 yard circle. Uh, another single added to the total. Uh, Abu keeps uh, playing that switch. It, uh, this time uh, drives it uh, down the ground onto the long off region. Uh, Slightly wider to the deep extra coverage and slightly misfield by the fielder, uh, causing another extra run coming in the bat of uh, Ganesh. Another two runs adding to the total of team Nithya Levin. Uh, this time, Nasa played on to the third man position just for another single. Uh, hardly we have seen uh, just a one uh, dotted delivery in this. Uh, over yeah, 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 yeah. so after the completion of first over uh, this goes on uh, eight for no loss the first two overs uh, is a mounting power play where only two fielders are allowed to stay outside the 30 yard circle uh, and the Nithya 11 uh, the two openers have given a decent start uh, the run rate is exactly around eight runs per over if they carry in the similar fashion uh, anything above 50 plus also will uh, be a easy target uh, for uh, the team Hoysala uh, Babakate because they are the team who have scored the highest total in the tournament uh, in the last evening they had scored 63 odd runs in seven overs uh, prior to that they have scored 58 Shafiq uh, is a new bowler coming from the commentator box and normally we have seen Yadish starting the proceeding for Hoysala uh, but this time uh, there is some uh, smart thinking by the captain Subhash uh, is an experienced player uh, just like uh, uh, Roy Sharma of uh, Indian team uh, that's the way how uh, he keeps uh, 
changing his uh, the bowling lineup. Uh, in the last two games, we have seen uh, Yati starting the proceeding, but this time Yakub uh, was asked to bowl the opening over. This time, uh, Shafiq uh, wanting the second over. Uh, uh, played uh, to the mid-up position just for a single uh, one more run early to the total of uh, with the 11 and the score slowly moving up to 9. Uh, 9 for no loss. And that was a slightly quicker one. Uh, the last one with the batsman uh, playing a switch at uh, wicket keeper misses it. Uh, and umpire says uh, there's another extra. We have already seen uh, uh, two whites in the first over bowl by Yakov. This time uh, a bicycle coming from the umpire. Uh, with that, that by uh, yeah, the score yeah, jumping to 10. That was a quicker one. one, one the wicketkeeper runs it, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. missing it. This time, uh, definitely that's a fair call. The matchman Ganesh uh, going across to play on to the onside region. Uh, and he was uh, just in front. There is no hesitation for the umpire. Uh, Pradeep Gautari to raise his finger because that uh, is a decision coming for him uh, because he was right in front. Uh, the front foot uh, was right in the middle stick. What a delivery. That was a quick one ball by Shafiq. Uh, and that's a big, big wicket. Uh, and now we have a new batsman. Uh, with the Josie number nine walking out in the middle is Charan. Uh, Charan is a new batsman for the team. Uh, Nithya Levin. A tall man who can definitely clear the body of quite easily because we have just another three balls remaining in the power play to be completed. Uh, can we see uh, some big hit? Uh, so far, the run is 10 for 1. Uh, the partnership was building finally, it has been broken by uh, Shafiq. Uh, Shafiq, uh, full time, uh, falling to the new batsman, Sharon. And this time there is a chance of a run out if it's a directed but the throw was not so accurate from the wicket keeper. That's not a good sign from the wicket keeper Ranjit. There was an ample of chance to get rid of Charan. This time luckily for the batsman, the last moment the ball pitching slightly down the leg or else we could have seen another wicket. What an excellent over ball by uh, Shafiq. Uh, Kodaya, Yerudu uh, Sethapaki. This time, uh, right in the middle of the bat, on to the onside region, on to the deep. Uh, Rashid, the fielder, doing an excellent work on the deep. Uh, final ball of the over number two. Kodaya, Wunde Sethapaki. And the score jumping to Tuvando. What a comeback from the bowler of uh, Hoysal, especially Shafiq uh, with the jersey number 15 at his back. Here's the last ball. Uh, drives it onto the mid-up position. Uh, slightly fumbled by the fielder. In the meanwhile, the batsmen have crossed for a quick single. Uh, so over number two coming to an end. After the completion of two overs, uh, score moves on to 13 for one. And now the power play has been completed. Uh, the fielder can be out of the 30 yard circle. And once again, Yakub will be bowling the over number three for his team and the second over of his spell. So power play has been completed and now uh, we can see the field uh, uh, spreading out of the 30 yard circle. We have uh, long off uh, Mr. Ali, Mr. Shiv Prasad on the deep point, uh, Rashid on long on. Uh, still some confusion, uh, the wicket keeper Shafiq has a uh, full Roll uh, behind the stumps uh, because he's the only one person who can watch the entire ground where he can set the field in the right position. Uh, the captain uh, Subash is standing inside the 30 yard circle on the mid wicket position. Uh, so, Jakob, uh, first time with the over number three. 
and uh, that's a uh, great delivery the batsman uh, churn uh, playing across missing the stump no connection in between the bat and bad uh, and the batsman had to depart uh, that's another big wicket Yakov striking on his very first ball of the over number three uh, the second wicket fallen uh, at the score of just a 13 on the scorecard uh, what a delivery the ball coming well in uh, the batsman uh, the tall man uh, playing it across uh, missing it completely that's a big wicket now we have a lefty batsman uh, Girish uh, with a jersey number 51 walking out in the middle So lefty batsman uh, Girish, uh, all the strikers and uh, the bowler Yakov changing his uh, guard coming uh, right arm round the wicket to the lefty batsman. Uh, this time uh, slightly down the leg stake uh, resulting a dot ball. Uh, that's an interesting game in the on -term. We have a small box on the board these sides. Uh, if the ball passes onto that box, uh, it's called as a fair delivery onto the left side directions for both the right hand and the left hand batsman this time but slightly outside the obstacle uh, batsman Girish uh, too early to play the drive uh, missing it completely because it was slightly quicker than the previous ball uh, four time uh, once again uh, driven it to the leg stake uh, that's another excellent delivery what an excellent overboard by Yaku. Four dotted delivery and a wicket Konea Yerudis at the Baki Akri Dogen Bachiwe is over what an over. Uh, once again, uh, giving a full respect, there is a chance for an out, but Yakub not taking any charge. Uh, he knew that the back of feeder was slightly wider uh, and he didn't want to take a risk. So, Kone is at the of the over number three. Uh, and there is an appeal, but the ball uh, pitching slightly down the leg stake. Uh, I like bar signal again by the umpire. Uh, what an excellent over, a maiden over, uh, and a wicket coming uh, in the bowling of Yakub. One run has been added to the team total. Uh, the score was on to 14 uh, with the help of that uh, one wicket uh, taken in this over number three. What an over, bowled by uh, Yakub. Uh, that's the first maiden over in this uh, tournament uh, coming from uh, the bowler of uh, Hoysala. Bobo Small thinking by the captain of uh, Hoysala Babagute because the both the bowlers, uh, the two opening bowlers have bowled an excellent spell. Uh, so this time once again no hesitation for the captain uh, to get us a frontline bowler back because it's a seven hours game. Two bowlers have been allowed to bowl to two overs. So this time uh, Shafi continuing to bowl the second over of his spell. Uh, and this time slightly down the leg, uh, wicket keeper Anjit missing it, there is a chance for an out and that's a direct hit uh, coming from uh, the jersey number 10, Shiva Prasad uh, and Girish uh, has to depart for a golden duck. Uh, there was some confusion between the both the bands, but Abu going for a quick single, Girish, yes, no, yes, no, at the end he has to sacrifice wicket in a form of an out. What an excellent pick up and throw by the fielder, standing slightly inside the 30 yard circle onto the short fine leg. Uh, quick pick up and direct hit. Uh, we hardly see this kind of a direct hit in the, the cricket matches, uh, but this is called an excellent fielding. Excellent fielding setup done by the captain Subhash. Uh, and now we have a new batsman, Mr. Khalil, uh, with the jersey number 10. Uh, Join the company of Abu has come as an opener. Uh, 
So definitely these two batsmen needs to carry their innings till the end uh, if they want to set a decent target. Both the teams uh, have won their both the games. So definitely the winner of this team, I mean the winner of this match, uh, will be on the top of the points table. Uh, Abu finally back onto the strikers and after a long time he was away from the strike and this time is back onto the strikers and uh, desperately he needs to play an anchor role for his side. And this time Ampa um, says it's a no ball. And that's, and that's uh, a free hit signal coming uh, from the umpire. That's the first noble of the day. And uh, let's see what Abu can do for his side in the free hit ball. Abu coming down the track on the free hit ball. The batsman cannot be judged stumped. out. The wicket keeper should have uh, done a different way of getting him out. Just pitching the ball in the front and then he could have taken the stumps. The batsman could have been out in a form of an out. But the wicket keeper Dikshet uh, Ranjit uh, dragging the wicket uh, very quickly. The batsman was too down the track and he has given up. Uh, Uh, Shakil uh, Shafiq once again back to his bowling mark this time ball coming well in this time an excellent work done by uh, the wicket keeper behind the stump and it's uh, once again going for the reverse sweep missing it completely frequently the batsman up trying to play the reverse sweep uh, Missing it completely. Another excellent overcoming from uh, Shafiq. Uh, Kunia Yervis and Bagi of the over number four. Uh, the run is only on 15 on the scorecard. This time going for the big eight. Uh, Rashid the man underneath. Our, that's an excellent judgment done by the fielder. Uh, what an excellent catch uh, taken by uh, Santosh. Uh, getting rid of the dangerous man. Abu was under pressure. Uh, the runs are not Scoring for the team at the 11, uh, going for a big hit uh, at the end, uh, giving his wicket uh, to the fielder. Uh, there were some collusions between the two fielders, but at the end, uh, Santos taking an excellent catch uh, was inside the 30 yard circle, standing slightly wider to the mid wicket position. Uh, at the end, uh, that's a smart judgment done by uh, Santos. Uh, and now we have a new batsman now walking out in the middle is Prakash. At the score of 15 for the loss of four wicket, uh, we have a new batsman Prakash uh, joining the company of uh, Khalil. The final ball of the bowler uh, Shafiq. Uh, this time, nicely defensively played, giving full respect to the bowler. What an over! Both the bowlers have started pretty good for the team. After the completion of uh, four overs, goes on uh, 16 for four.
Chain the ball again. Uh, this time uh, the ball has been handed over to Yatish. There might be some uh, thinking from the captain Subhash uh, getting his top bowler in the middle. Yatish. Uh, Bowling to the batsman uh, Khalil. Runs are not pouring. The run rate is exactly around four runs per over. Uh, the beginning of the first over, the run rate was exactly around eight. Uh, but after that, uh, the both the opening bowlers, uh, Shafiq and uh, Yaqub, uh, bowled an excellent uh, spells. Uh, the very first ball. Uh, the runs have been considered onto the long on. This time going for the river sweep onto the deep gully position. Yakub the fielder doing an excellent work. Just a single considered. So the first two ball two runs have been considered. Slowly the run going up to 18 on the scorecard. And this time playing uh, towards the wideish of the cover position. Uh, there is a chance of running out, but umpire and more the batsman uh, Prakash is safe in his party cruise. An excellent work done on the deep uh, by Ali. We've seen him doing an excellent work in the last two games. He has saved plenty of runs for the team Hoysala. Uh, two more runs adding to the total for that two runs. Uh, the score moving out to 20. And this time, nice to swept on to the deep. The ball rising quickly to the final leg position, and the battle is won by the batsman Khalil. So that's the first boundary coming in the part of uh, Khalil. That was a loser one ball by uh, Yatish, and the batsman uh, straight away going across, playing a battle sweep. The ball rising quickly, uh, running the man behind the ball. Uh, the outfield is quite quick enough toward that direction. Uh, look at the way how the ball has raised the boundary of like a trace of a letter. Kunaya Yerudi of the over number 5. Uh, this goes on 24. Uh, once again toward the same direction. But this time there is a fielder kept on the deep. Uh, and this is really uh, not a good sign uh, from the fielder. Ranjit, uh, you shouldn't have uh, come for that ball. It's a wicket keeper's duty to collect the ball. Uh, you have a wicket keeper uh, instead of uh, giving him to do his work. Uh, An unnecessary extra run has been considered in the ball number five. And this time there is an appeal for stamp and umpire on the board. That was a quick stamp done by the wicket keeper behind the stamps. Shuffling the man behind the stamps, taking quite quickly, like uh, within a fraction of a second. But at the last moment, we think that the batsman uh, Khalil is uh, safe in his batting crease. Uh, the last moment, dragging his uh, the back foot uh, at the right time. And umpire says that the batsman is safe in his batting crease. So, over number five coming to an end. After the completion of five overs, scores on 26 for four. Uh, 10 runs have been conceded in the previous over, which has been bowled by Yatish. The expensive over so far in this game. Uh, so, 
So Prayer has been asked to bowl the over number six. And uh, that's a quick one down the leg stick. Uh, a bicycle given by the umpire. It's not the wicket keeper's fault because the ball was uh, quicker than what the wicket keeper could have uh, thought. Uh, it's not so easy for the wicket keeper who's standing so close. Uh, will be able to uh, stop uh, those kind of a delivery which is pushing down the leg. Uh, brave, uh, second time. Uh, there is uh, going for the reverse sweep. There is a man under net. Will the catch all be taken? But the ball passing over this head. One bounce over to the boundary road. That's the second boundary coming uh, in the innings of the team Nithya 11. Now the runs are pouring for the team. Uh, these two batters are scoring runs in a quicker fashion. What a head coming in the bat of uh, Khalil. The fielder on the deep uh, was standing uh, slightly ahead uh, on the boundary top uh, rather than being on the edge of the boundary top. If was on the close of the edge of the boundary top, we could have seen uh, uh, Khalil walking back to the pavilion. Uh, Prem, uh, third time. Once again, going for the river sweep. Uh, this time, uh, the ball uh, kissing the pad. Uh, it was too early to play that uh, switch hit. Uh, the spring bowls are slightly quicker uh, than the rest of the bowlers. He has a strong arm. And that's the way he delivers his ball. This time, there is an appeal. And I'm passes. The batsman is uh, right.
So welcome back uh, due to some uh, interruption uh, due to the power cut. We are back into the second inning, chasing a target of uh, chasing a target of 50. We have the two openers. Uh, a slightly misfield by the feeder on the short uh, square leg position, uh, and straight away the batsman Shafiq. Uh, Getting off the mark in the very first ball, uh, Charan uh, uh, bowling uh, down the leg uh, and we know that most of the batters are uh, and this time uh, drives it uh, on to the long on position. Uh, once again an excellent running between the wicket, the throw was not so good enough uh, from the deep uh, and the batsman Ali quick enough for uh, completing the second run. So the first two balls, uh, uh, four runs have been considered. Uh, Uh, definitely I can say the batters of Nithya 11 have done an excellent work uh, in the first four overs uh, they had scored only 16 runs uh, in the last three overs 33 runs have been scored by the batters so the first two balls four runs have been conceded uh, Charanna this time uh, going for the switch eight at the last moment the ball uh, is slightly uh, wider uh, than the batsman uh, would have expected uh, and this time uh, driven it once again Ali uh, an excellent runner in between the wicket look at the way how he has completed the first run and then uh, straight uh, without any fear uh, completing the second run uh, quite quickly that's uh, another excellent running between the wicket by the both batters uh, uh, six runs have been conceded uh, in the first four ball. Kone uh, Yerudi Asitabaki of the over number one, uh, chasing a target of 50. And this time uh, just uh, played on to the longer position for another single. Uh, finally, we can see Ali, all the strikers, and uh, And this time the top edge, uh, but the ball uh, straight to the fielder on the mid down position. What a catch taken. Uh, we thought that the catch could have been dropped uh, or the call would have been a fall shorter in front of the, the fielder. But uh, the fielder with the jersey number 77 did not give up. He uh, knew that uh, that's a big wicket. A big fish is back into the dugout for a golden duck. Getting out to the final ball of the over number seven. So after the completion of first over, the score is on. Uh, Seven for one. And now the captain of Hoysala, uh, Mr. Subhash, uh, is walking out to the middle. Uh, responsible is under the shoulders of Subhash and Shafiq. Uh, they have to chase the target of 50. So far, the run is seven on the scorecard. In remaining 36 balls, 43 to get. Muatta Arya Sita Nalvatta Mururan Avashakate. So final over of the ball play will be bowled by uh, Abu. The first over, seven runs have been conceded by the bowling of Charan, getting rid of the dangerous man uh, Ali for a golden duck. And now Abu taking a charge. Uh, bowling the second over for his side. I request the captain of uh, Nithya 11, please continue with the game. Uh, you have to follow the timing. Uh, uh, 30 minutes time has been given uh, to complete your 7 overs. Uh. Thirty-six balls, 43 to get. The man to be watched is uh, Shafiq. Uh, is playing on 7. Uh, 
Abu round the stock. And a very first ball played onto the deep, onto the mid wicket position just for a single. And now we have the dangerous player of Hoysala, uh, the captain, uh, Subhash. He's on his strikers end. Uh, the same field has been set uh, for Subhash. Uh, mid wicket onto the deep and uh, long on. If anything pitches down the leg, uh, Subhash can target it toward the square leg region or on, onto the fine leg position. But let's see how Subhash will carry his innings. Here's the first ball. Uh, of Subhash Enix and going for a slog sweep the ball coming slightly quicker than what he was thinking to play that big head in the very first ball of his innings without any fear that's the way how he plays his game he knows only to go for a big head that's what the captain of Hoysala always does for his side and this time slightly quicker onto the off stick position no, 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 no. he's too strong onto his uh, pad uh, but this time he could have played onto the cover position uh, but at the end uh, missing it completely resulting with another dot ball uh, pressurable thing for the team hoysala we have never seen the team hoysala taking this kind of a pressure uh, in the last two games they were batting first but when you're chasing definitely it will be a different format of the game and this time drives it down the ground to the long one position but they should be only satisfied with the single one more than adding to the team total the runs moving up to nine on scorecard Kuneya Yerudis at the Baki of uh, over number two Akri Dogi in Bachiwe is uh, over K and Abu will be bowling the fifth ball the second last ball of the over number two he'll be bowling to Shafiq and this time as long sweep towards the square leg position and that could be a first boundary in the innings of the team Hoysala coming in the bat of uh, Shafiq nothing wrong with the delivery ball by Abu but the batsmen have played an excellent cricketing hit uh, what a shot it is uh, the ball has uh, raised quite quick enough uh, outfield is far better uh, as soon as the shot has been offered, uh, even the mid wicket fielder was stunned to watch the ball uh, raising quickly to the boundary rope. Uh, a welcome boundary coming at the right time. Uh, and here's the final ball of the over number uh, uh, two. And this time, nice to play it. The this time, ball raising quickly to the final leg position. Will the ball uh, raise the battle or. Uh, well, the fielder will stop it, but Ampa says that's a boundary. So, two back to back boundary coming in the bat of uh, Shafiq. So, after the completion of uh, two overs, goes on uh, 17 for one. Now, the question is Muat to Esit, huh? Muat the Murun and Aushakate. 30 ball 33 to get they have uh, nine more wickets in hand uh, this is an important partnership uh, these two batsmen needs to carry their innings till the end a uh, uh, target uh, can be chased uh, we have seen at uh, the batters of the team hoysala scoring uh, the highest total in this tournament in the last game they had scored around 63 runs uh, so definitely this will not be a tougher target on the other end, Nithya Levin, if they need to come back strongly in this game, they need to get rid of any one of this player. So Rohit, coming from the commentator box end, he'll be bowling to Subhash, the captain playing on one. Out of 17 runs, most of the runs have been scored by the non-striker batsman, Mr. Shafiq. And here is uh, Subhash. And a risky single taken, uh, and the batsman uh, Subhash is safe with his mount increase. This time, going for the US whip, connecting right in the middle of the bat. Uh, and Charan uh, doing the excellent work behind the wicketkeeper. Uh, 
The tall man saving at least uh, three runs for his side. Uh, a sensible marching going on between these two batters. They need to just look into the gap, convert the singles into double. This time, slightly far away from the upstake. No hesitation for the umpire to call it as a wide. That's a uh, fake call coming from the umpire. With the help of that wide, the score jumping to 20 for 1. Now the equation is just another 30 to get. And look at the way, I love the shot, the way how Subash is playing. When he times it right in the middle of the bat, that's a perfect cricketing head coming from the perfect person. Is a Mr. Perfect for the team, Hoysala Babagate. Going for a battle sweep at the last moment. Uh, playing towards the gully position. Uh, that's the uh, way that most of the players in the under cricket, we see that uh, the last moment uh, they just uh, change their uh, angle of scoring runs. Uh, and this time uh, once again driven to the long on. Uh, Ganesh, the captain, uh, doing the rest of the work. Uh, each and every ball uh, which is bowled by Rohit, the runs have been uh, taken uh, from the bat. Uh, Here's the final ball of the over number uh, uh, three. Getting an outside edge. Uh, there is a chance of a not be directed. Uh, batsman Subhash has given up. Uh, uh, Shafiq needs to think properly because uh, Subhash is not an excellent runner in between the wicket. Uh, they shouldn't take this kind of a risky single because the ball has swept firmly to the fielder in the short term and reason. Uh, and Shibas had already given up. Uh, seven runs conceded in this over. So it means that after the completion of three overs, goes on 24. For one. In remaining 24 balls. Ippatta Naku Yasata, Ippatta Arara Navashakate for the team Hoysala Babagote. 24-26. What a partnership between these two players. Uh, 17 run partnership. That's what the team Hoysala wanted from their specialist batsmen who are out in the middle. Abu once again coming back to bowl his second over of his spell in the previous over of the last two balls in the power play he has been hammered for two back-to-back -back boundaries coming the back of uh, Abu bowling to the man in form Shafiq with the jersey number 15 uh, is playing an excellent knock for his side. Uh, and this time we're driven it onto the outside region, onto the square leg position. Will the batsman cross for the second run? But they should be only satisfied with a single because it was been hit uh, like a tracer bullet straight to the fielder. On to the square leg position. Uh, it's a single taken. Uh, and now this would have been an interesting battle between Abu and Subhash. Uh, Subhash is known for his big hitting. Uh, and the last uh, over. Uh, And this time there is an appeal and the batsman has to depart because he was down the track and that's an excellent keeping done by Prakash. That's what I was talking in the beginning of the match. Prakash is an excellent uh, wicket keeper behind this stump. Uh, the ball was slightly outside the obstacle. The batsman dragging to play that onto the cover position. Uh, he was down the track. Uh, he was too late to drag his back foot back into the crease. Uh, before that uh, the batsman uh, has given up uh, because the ball was under the hands of Prakash and he has done it in a quick fashion to get rid of uh, the dangerous batsman of uh, Hoysala Babukate and that is uh, Subhash he is back into the pavilion. Now uh, we have a new batsman Yaqub uh, joining the company of uh, Shafiq. So now these two batters need to 
play the innings of their life uh, because they already have won their both the games uh, if they win this game uh, they will be on the top of the points table uh, every team will definitely want it to be on the top of the points table uh, because this is a league come knockout tournament uh, which has been organized by the members of uh, ocean creators pundit house uh, the new batsman Jakob uh, facing for the first time uh, in the innings against the bowling of uh, Abu And he has uh, found the fielder onto the deep. Uh, this is not a good sign for the batsmen who have just walked in. Uh, and look at the way how uh, Shafiq is frustrated on the non strikers. And he's playing uh, in X for his team. And he has not been supported by the rest of the batters. Uh, Subash was there over there. He was taking singles, giving most of the strikes to Shafiq. As soon as Shabazz got departed, the new man Yakub going straight away. And find the feeder on the long off. That's a really a bad sign coming from the batter, Jakob. And we have a new batsman, another experienced player for the team, Rashid. He needs to stick there. Because the target is not so high uh, until Shafiq is on the non strikers and uh, the target can be chased. Uh, he needs to support, he needs to play a uh, genuine innings. Uh, Abu striking uh, once again for his time. He's on a hat trick. Uh, and this time, Blythe said, That's a confident hit coming from the confident batter, and uh, that's what the batter needs to do. Sixers boundaries is not the only game uh, when you when you're chasing a target. Uh, even uh, uh, singles doubles are much needed uh, in the cricketing game. Uh, a loser ball can be hammered out of the park, uh, but the rest of the balls look into the gap, convert the singles into double. Uh, and this time going for the paddle sweep. Uh, definitely, there might be an inside edge onto the pad, uh, and straight away umpire says. Uh, not out. Uh, even the wicket keeper, the last moment has given up uh, the appeal. He knew that uh, the ball has hit the bat first, then the pad. And here's the final ball of the over number uh, four. Once again, this time, once again, the ball is pitching slightly away from the obstacle. Uh, and the batsman, uh, uh, Shafiq, is safe in his mountain crease. Uh, and a single has been considered in a form of a leg boy. So, after the completion of uh, four overs, scores on 27. When the team Nitya 11, when they were batting uh, in the four overs, they had managed to score uh, 16 runs. Uh, in the last uh, three overs, they scored 33 runs. Uh, and now. Uh, the equation is 18 ball, 23 to get. So it means that in each and every over, the team Hoysala Babugate, they have to score around 8 runs per over, which is not a tougher target until Shafiq and Rashid are out in the middle. In the meanwhile, can we have the captain of uh, Kings Kuttar and uh, the team... SRFC Kolya, the two captains, please come to the commentary box for the toss. I request the two captains. We have the captain of Kings Kutard. Can we have the captain of SR SK of Kolya? The new bat smaller, Girish, has been introduced with the boundary coming at the right time for the team. Hoysala Babugate. What a hit it was coming in the back of uh, the man in form who has already hit two boundaries uh, prior to this one. What a hit it is. Uh, nothing wrong with the delivery ball by Girish, but the batsman uh, Shafiq uh, going for the switch. At, uh, and now uh, they need to play a sensible cricket. Uh, now the question is. Uh, 17 ball, just a 19 to get. They've already got four runs in the first ball. In the remaining five balls, even if they take singles in each and every ball, they'll be close to the target.
That's a sensible batting and the ball has been driven onto the long on position for another boundary. That's another welcome boundary coming in the mat of uh, Shafiq. The fielder was slightly wider on the mid wicket position and he was looking into that gap onto the long on position. What a hit. Uh, so two back to back boundaries coming in the mat of Shafiq. Uh, that's a fourth boundary. So the first two balls, eight has been considered. Now the question is uh, 16 ball, 15 to get. And going for the paddle sweep, uh, finding the fielder in the point position. Uh, just another single adding to the total. What a knock. Uh, this knock will be remembered by the players of Hoysala Babugate. What a player Shafiq is. This arm drives it onto the cover position on the deep. Up with the man doing the rest of the work. Sensible boating coming by Rashid. He knows that on the other end Shafiq is timing the ball perfectly. Each and every hit which has been come in the bat of Shafiq is a perfect cricketing shot. There's no mistiming, nothing. Once again another single taken quickly. Well supported by Rashid. There is a chance for the second run. But at the end, they should be only happy with a single. So final ball of the over number uh, fifth. Again is to Rashid. Look at the way how he has played that onto the pad, onto the deep, onto the mid wicket uh, position uh, for a single, just a flick uh, onto the pad. Uh, and the ball raising quickly to the mid wicket position. So after the completion of uh, five overs. Uh, Scores on uh, 39. So it means that in remaining 12 balls, just uh, 11 to get. So here we have the toss for the match number two between uh, SRSK Kulia versus Team Kings Kutar. 100 for the team Hoysala Babakati. The captain of uh, SRFC Kulia after winning those they have decided to bowl first. That's another match which will be the interesting one. Uh, the winner of that match will be on the top of the points table because both the teams have won their both the games. And now the ball has been under the magical bowler of the team Nitya Levin. Prakash has been asked to bowl the over number six. Uh, and we have uh, Rashid on the striker's end. Uh, and a straight away umpire says that's a fair call coming from the umpire. Wide signal again by the main umpire. Uh, the ball was slightly outside the off stick. Uh, the leg spinner ball this time. Uh, there is an appeal. Uh, but the batsman has to depart because uh, you miss I had uh, no connection between the bottom part. Wanted to play on to the onside region. Uh, in the end, uh, he has to walk back to the pavilion, uh, missing uh, the ball and the ball hitting the off stake. Uh, the partnership was building up uh, between these two players. Finally, Prakash, the magical leg spin, the bowler, uh, picking a wicket. Uh, now the question is, Hanna Seta Hatun and Navashakate. Gallagher, the missive does ring in Zero Third Team. Oisara Papagate, they need to just play a sensible cricket. It's a ball to ball game. We have a live coverage of this uh, tournament uh, and we have a media partner, uh, King Sports. Uh, King Sports are the official media partner where you can watch the live exclusive of this uh, Ocean Premier League Season 4. And we have a new batsman, Shiv Prasad. Uh, another experienced player uh, for the team, Hoysala Babagate, joining the company of the man. Uh, has come as an opener was still there on the non strikers end and this time the batsman uh, thinking uh, whether to play onto the outside but the last moment uh, wanted to play a late cut but misses completely now the question is 10 ball 10 runs to get uh, what a match uh, and this time, uh, 
There is a chance of a run out and that's another wicket. Uh, the ball was firmly hit straight to the bowler. Uh, Shafiq on the non-strikers and who desperately wanted to be on the strikers. And it, because on the other hand, uh, he was just watching uh, the wickets falling uh, in the regular interval. Uh, we have seen uh, three wickets falling in a quick fashion for the team. Now let's see who is going to be the new batsman. Uh, will be joining the company of uh, Shafiq. Uh, Prasad uh, sacrificing his wicket. Uh, Now the question is, uh, and we have uh, Ranjit, uh, the new batsman, but he'll be on the non-strikers end. Uh, now all responsible is under the hands of uh, Shafiq. Uh, he should keep his mind cool. Uh, there is nothing much needed, just a 10 out of 9 balls. The run can be gettable until you are there in the middle. Uh, do not play a lose hit, uh, my friend Shafiq. Uh, you are the man uh, to carry the innings. You have played so far an excellent knock. That's a sensible parting. Uh, not taking any risk, just uh, playing towards the cover position inside the 30 yard circle. Uh, in the next two balls, even if they take another two runs, final over, seven runs can be chased. Uh, so let's see how uh, Ranjit will carry his innings for his side. And as they driven on to the long on to get off the mark in the very first ball that's what the batter needs to do that's what the previous batters who have just walked in uh, had to have done that for their side uh, when the beginning of the over number six they had to get 11 uh, now uh, the equation is seven ball eight to get and this time the batsman going for the big hit in the last ball of the over number six uh, the ball getting an outer edge uh, of Falling in short of the wicket keeper behind us and the tall man Charan missing it completely but it is not so easy to uh, take those kind of uh, catches. So Konaya Arvasata Yen to run now Shagate. Arti Ching and Omisif Art Run Kizarat Hatin Hoysala Bhavagate. And the last over will be bowled by Charan. Charan to do the the final over for his side. Six balls, eight run. What a match. Can Ranjit look into the gap and get the run picking up for the team? You need to play towards the mid wicket position. Look into the gap. If you just clear it over the mid wicket fielder onto the deep, the ball will race quickly to the boundary door. This will be an interesting battle between Charan and Ranjit. On the other end, Ranjit uh, just need to take a single, give a strike back to Shafi. This ram drives it. Uh, and the batsman uh, crossing for the second run. Uh, there was a misfield done by the fielder in the call position. Uh, firmly hit straight to the fielder in the short cover. Uh, slightly fumble. Uh, the ball raising quickly onto the wideish of the extra cover position on the deep. Uh, so the first ball, two runs have been conceded. Uh, that's what Ranjit needs to do. Look into the cap. Convert the singles into double. This time, straight to the bowler and the batsman. Uh, Ranjit has to depart. Uh, And that's a fair decision coming from the umpire. As soon as the shot was offered, Ranjit was uh, down the track and Shafiq was on the non strikers and uh, was very quick enough to be on the strikers end. That's a fair call coming from the umpire to give the decision against the favor of uh, Ranjit. And now we have a new batsman, Prem. Four ball, six to get. A lefty batsman now who can clear the boundary ropes quite easier. But now the man, uh, Shafiq. Uh, was played an excellent NX, uh, was come as an opener, was still there. Uh, four ball six to get, which is not a tougher target until uh, Shafiq is there out in the middle. Uh, at this moment, Shafiq uh, needs to look into the gap. He's just watching the field. Let's see what he's going to do, whether he's going to go for the switch hit. From this angle, uh, definitely it's clear uh, that he will definitely will go for the reverse sweep. Uh, 
We got the fielder is uh, this time connecting right in the middle of the bat and the ball racing quickly to the boundary depth and that's a much needed boundary coming in the talented player uh, that's what I was talking about because before the ball has been delivered he knew that the fielder was inside the 20 yard circle once the ball uh, passes that fielder the ball uh, races quickly onto the shortest part of the ground behind the stands uh, what an NX uh, now the question is three ball two to get from here uh, definitely I don't think the match uh, will be going away from the hands of Hoysala Babagate now as soon as the shot will be offered the prem should be on the non strikers and this time far away from the leg stick definitely that will be the winning position for the team Hoysala Babagate waiting for the umpire's decision okay uh, the ball uh, getting an inside edge of the bat now the question is two ball one run And sensible batting as soon as the shot has been offered up Shafiq was straight away on to the you know Strikers and what an X from Shafiq and there is no hesitation To just the man of the match in this game that goes to none other than Shafiq the man who had played the innings of his life for his side What a player is And I request mr. Shafiq to come to the commentator box and collect your man of the match award and the team Hoysala uh, Babagate are right now are on the top of the points table and also the team Nitya Levin uh, even they have qualified for the next round uh, Shafiq the man of the match uh, please do come to the commentator box uh. We have uh, our guest uh, for this match, uh, Mr. Mohan uh, will be handling the man of the match reward for this uh, wonderful game between uh, the team Hoysala uh, Babugate versus uh, the team Nitya Levin. Uh, it goes to Mr. Shafiq. So I request Mr. Shafiq to come to the stage and collect your man of the match reward uh, from our special guest uh, for this uh, tournament. Uh, of Ocean Premier League 2024. So congratulations Shafiq for your wonderful knock. So now for the next match of the day two will be played between the team SRFC Masters Kulia versus KK that is King's Kutard
Uh, match number two between uh, the team SRFC Masters Kolya versus team uh, Kings Qatar. Uh, the captain of uh, SRFC Masters after winning the toss, uh, they have decided to bowl first. Uh, So coming back uh, after the short break for the match number two between uh, SRF uh, C Masters Kolya versus uh, the team uh, Kings Qatar. We have the two openers uh, Ashraf and uh, Kishore. Uh, the ball is under the hands of uh, Dunder. We'll be starting the proceeding. Uh, and the very first ball uh, getting an outer right uh, towards the, the direction of the short third man uh, and Ashraf getting off the mark with a single with the help of that single the score moves on to one for no loss at this time driven it uh, straight to the mid on fielder was quite quick enough uh, at the end uh, resulting with the dot ball
And that's a much needed boundary coming at the right time for the team. King's Cousard, that was a shot and ball slightly onto the pad and the matchman Kishore doesn't miss it, those kind of a ball that the ball was quickly raised towards the Skralik position for a boundary, what a start for the team King's Cousard after asking to bat first, that's a good comeback by the bowler, the, no, he's an experienced bowler, oh, back to the best uh, bowler in the last tournament uh, and now the responsibility is under his shoulders, final two ball of the first over of the power play, scores on uh, five. And this time going for the reverse sweep. The ball racing quickly onto the deep in the third man position. Will the ball race the battle or will it be cut down? And in the meanwhile, the batsman should be only happy with the two runs. Uh, that's the longest part of the ground from this direction. Uh, with the help of that two runs, Komo's on to seven. A final ball, uh, a dot ball resulting at the end. Uh, the batsman Kishore uh, might have some uh, problems out in the middle. Uh, there might be some uh, the cramps uh, on his uh, ties. That's the way he is struggling to play his shots. Uh, is not able to play onto the cover position. Uh, is unable to play the front foot shots. Uh, that was the reason why we have seen him uh, uh, struggling in the last two ball after the boundary has been hit. Uh, as soon as uh, the boundary was hit, uh, we have seen him playing a switch hit. Uh, the running between the wicket was slightly slower. Instead of completing three runs, uh, they had managed to get only two. So that's uh, over number one coming to end after the completion of first over. Uh, the score is all seven for no loss. And now we have uh, a chain the bowling and uh, the new bowler. Uh, Ravi has been uh, asked to bowl the over number two. A single considered in the very first ball coming to the part of Ashraf. Ashraf and Kishore have played an excellent knock for the team Kings Qatar in the last two games. Both the teams have won their both the games, so this will be the interesting one. The winner of this match will be on the top of the points table. This time over the mid on the ball racing quickly to the long on position. And that's a boundary coming in the back of uh, Kishore. Once again, as soon as the shot has been offered, Kishore once again having a problem on his ties and definitely he'll be walking out. Definitely at this pain, is not able to carry his innings. But still, he has a chance to come back as soon as if he gets uh, fine. But that's a big blow for the team, Kings Kutar. The match spent walking out in an injury. Due to some cramp problems uh, onto his ties uh, after hitting the boundary. The batsman Kishore uh, walking out uh, due to the 
hamstring problem finding out his joy his retired hurt uh, definitely as soon as uh, is fine enough uh, he has a chance to come back uh, but currently now we have the new batsman uh, out in the middle the captain of king's kutar uh, and the ball coming well in uh, the wicket keeper Asho doing an excellent work standing close to these norms uh, as soon as the ball was been delivered uh, the batsman going for a big drive onto the offside position uh, missing it completely not watching the ball at all this time going for the reverse sweep once again missing it completely and that was far away from the wicket keeper uh, behind the stumps a wide signal given by the umpire one plus one adding to the total uh, And this time there was a chance for the Ashraf to go for a big hit onto the onside region. This time there is a huge appeal. There was a big appeal on the previous ball, but umpire and more because the wicket keeper was in a fully confidence, thinking that the batsman have nicked it. We saw a batsman Ravi offering a big hit onto the deep, onto the mid wicket position. As soon as the shot was offered, Ashraf was quick enough to complete the second run. So after the completion of two overs, an excellent over ball by Ravi. The score was on to 16. So after the completion of two overs of the power play, score is on 16. And now uh, once again the captain uh, getting his uh, frontline baller Dhanu back into attack. Because the power play has been completed now, uh, the fielder uh, can be spread. Uh, we have four feeders inside the 30 yard circle. So then uh, bowling to Ashraf, uh, we have uh, four feeders inside the 30 yard circle, one towards the mid off, uh, uh, short mid wicket, uh, cover position and one behind the wicket keeper onto the leg slip, uh, but he's standing on the edge of the 30 yard circle, uh, 
And this time the batsman uh, playing a nice drive towards the deep cover position just for another single. With that single, the score slowly moving up to 17. Seventeen. With this one person, Mr. Kishore is back into the dugout due to injury. This time, nicely played, going for a paddle sweep, but the ball kissing slightly. Wide is outside the off stick, and the ball, at the last moment, hitting the the back foot of the the batsman Naveen. A single has been taken in a form of a leg by. Runs are coming only with the singles in this over. That's what these two batters need to do. This time, that's an unnecessary run taken by the captain Naveen. Because you cannot take a run when the ball is hit straight to the bowler. As soon as the shot was offered, the matchman Naveen was down the track. This is not a good sign by the captain. The ball is under the hands of the bowler. And he was too far away down the track and it's not so easy for him to be back onto his batting crease. That's a big wicket. Uh, the captain unhappy has to depart in a form of uh, run out. So Kishore, the man who was uh, uh, been out for a while due to some injury, has been back uh, as soon as the wicket of Naveen has been folded. Uh, and out of reach uh, on to the short uh, third man region. Uh, another singer coming at the bat of uh, Ashraf. Uh, four balls a bit bold in this over. Uh, final two more balls. Uh, Konya Yeldes in the back of the over number three. Just a three runs have been conceded in this over. Kishore uh, playing straight to the feeder onto the mid opposition, ending with a dotted one. Uh, that was uh, played firmly, coming right in the middle of the bat. Uh, the first two over 16 runs have been conceded. Uh, Dano in his second over uh, is conceded only three runs. Here's the last ball of the over number three. Batsman coming down the track, straight to the bowler, rising with another dotted one. So after the completion of three overs, scores on 19. For one. The new bowler uh, Ashok has been introduced and the batsman going for the reverse sweep of the ball raising quickly onto the boundary of coming in the back of Ashraf. Uh, as soon as the ball has been delivered, uh, the batsman Ashraf going for the reverse sweep. Uh, the feeder was inside the 30 yard circle uh, and that's a gap uh, he was looking to play in the over number. Uh, A two which was being bowled by Ravi and now Ashok bowling slightly widely outside the obstacle and the batsman had an ample of time to play that. Uh, the leg spin the bowler uh, this time hammered onto the cover position. Will the batsman cross for the second run? Uh, yes. Uh, 
the throw was not so accurate from the the feeder from the deep uh, Dunno and the batsman Ashraf had an ample of time to convert the singles into double this time uh, just checking the shot uh, giving a full respect to the bowler uh, Ashok's uh, third ball ended with a dotted one he bowls a very slow delivery look at the way how uh, the ball has been released that gives a, a batsman ample of time to watch the ball and look into the gap uh, that's what Ashraf have done it uh, there is nothing wrong with the line length ball by Ashok he bowls a decent line length he bowls wicket to wicket but he should be a little bit quicker and this time played over to the long opposition and the ball rising quickly to the boundary top. that's the second boundary coming this over one an expensive over bowled by Ashok prior to this when the over number three goal completed the score was 19 and now over number four is in progress still we have one more ball remaining Konea Wundersethan already 12 runs have been conceded in this over this time once again on to the deep once again the batsman will go for the second run because the feeder was slightly wide on onto the offside region 14 runs 14 runs have been conceded in this over number four so after the completion of four overs score is on 33 for one more the mood run so far adding to the total of uh, kings qatar And this time the field underneath, the catch has been put on onto the deep. The catch should have been taken. Can it be a costliest one? We have Ashok bowling slightly wider outside the obstacle. And Kishore going after it onto the long on. The catch should have been taken. This time that could be a costliest one. That was a slightly slower one bowled by Ashok, wicket keeper could not believe that it was so close to the obstacle he was just uh, watching the ball uh, thinking that the ball could have kissed the obstacle at the end uh, it was a mess this time played widely onto the point position onto the deep uh, another two more runs added to the total uh, three runs have been conceded in this over so far Konya Muru is the marquee of the over number uh, five Ashraf going for the river sweep, uh, finding the feeder at the end, a single has been taken quite easily. With a single, uh, the score slowly moving up to 37 uh, on score card, uh, still two to go. The same has been coming down the track and the wicket keeper had an ample of chance to take this time. Sir. As soon as the batsman is down the track, it's not so easy for the batsman to be back on his mounting crease against the finest wicket keeper each and every team uh, in this tournament we have been a specialist wicket keepers behind the stumps who have done an excellent work uh, kishore uh, departs uh, getting stumped so that's the second wicket and now we have a new batsman with the jersey number 10 noor uh, another experienced batter of the team uh, kings kutard walking down the track uh, 
to find the final ball of the over numbered five. He'll be facing the last ball of the over number five. Ashok uh, striking. The partnership was building. Uh, finally, the wicket uh, coming at the right time. Uh, or else that partnership could have been uh, a slightly problem for the team uh, SRFC Masters Kulia. Nicely swept onto the deep in between the gap. Uh, another two runs adding quite uh, easily by the batter. Noor. Uh, An umpire says uh, it's a one shot. The batsman uh, Noor. Uh, was able to drag his bat at the right time on to the non-strikers and uh, he was shot and straight away umpire says uh, it's a one shot just a single run has been added so with that single after the completion of uh, five over scores on 38 so final 12 balls remaining even if they score another 12 to 14 runs a target of 50 plus will be a definitely a tougher chase for the team but still on the other end srfc kolya they do have an excellent batters i can watch one batter mr shaukat the lefty batsman who played an excellent innings in the last game Ravi once again back to his bowling marker coming round the wicket to bowl the over number six Kunaya Yerdo Urbaki let's wait and watch in the last 12 ball what will be the target set by the batters out in the middle Ashraf has come as an opener who is still there he is playing the innings a fly for his side going for the big hit outer edge the wicket keeper was quite quick enough but it seems that uh, the umpire will uh, call for the third umpire for the run out chance. And the signal coming from the third umpire is uh, the batsman uh, is safe with his bouncing crease. Uh, it was a good pick up and throw by the wicket keeper Ashok. Uh, the batsman Ashok was safe with his bouncing crease. Uh, this time, uh, no, too early to play that. Uh, switch it on to the offside reason. Uh, it was an excellent bowling by Ravi. He knew that the batsman. Uh, going for the switch hit and he has followed the batsman at the end of the batsman missing it completely this time uh, going for the big drive uh, the ball uh, raising quickly to the uh, squalic position just for another single uh, an excellent over so far uh, just uh, two runs conceded in this over uh, and let's go jumping to 40 on the board uh, over number uh, six in progress final three more balls remaining uh, And this time, batsman going for the reverse sweep. Definitely, the ball will race to the boundary top. And that's a much needed boundary coming in the mat of Ashraf. That was a shorter one, a ball slightly wider off the off stick. And the batsman uh, straight away offering that switch hit. Uh, he knew that the fielder was inside the 30 yard circle. That is the shortest part of the ground uh, behind the wicket keeper from that direction. Uh, once when you clear that fielder, the rest of the work will be done by the ball uh, because the outfield is quite quick enough. Uh, this time once again going for this switch set uh, and umpire says that's a legal delivery look at the way the fielders behind as soon as the ball has been delivered the batsman going for the switch set we see the fielder running behind the line and this now played widely towards the mid wicket position there is a fielder onto the deep was onto the long on position and the meanwhile the batsman crossing for the second run so after the completion of uh, six overs, goes on 46. Uh, final six balls remaining. Uh, let's see what the target said by the the two batters out in the middle.
The man from uh, Kasselgård will be bowling the final over for his side show. Good. Uh, who played an excellent innings in the last game of the day one. And here he comes to bowl the final over. The lefty bowler coming down the wicket. The batsman going for the big hit. Noor. And the catch has been taken onto the long on. What an excellent judgment done by the feeder. Under pressure onto the deep. And the catch has been taken. The wicket has been fallen in the final over. Very first ball. Shaukut striking for his side. Score still remains on 46. Konaya Aidu Esetabaki. Aidu Eseta. Five balls more. Let's see who's going to be the new batsman. Can we see some uh, the hard hitter of the tennis ball walking out in the middle because Kings Kutar they have uh, the man uh, who can uh, clear the boundary. Um, here's the man uh, Aziz uh, joined the company of uh, Ashraf. Uh, Aziz uh, facing the bowling of Shaukat. And uh, this time slightly wider onto the feeder inside the 30 yard circle on the cover position. Uh, it was a top edge. Uh, wanted to drive it onto the onside region. Uh, getting a thick top edge. Uh, luckily, the ball did not carry to the feeder, or else we're going to find another wicket falling in this over number 7. School still remains on 47. Uh, and this time played straight to the man. Bando doesn't make any mistake. Uh, what an excellent judgment. Right on the edge of the mounted up onto the deep, onto the outside. Slightly wideish onto the long on position. Uh, that's another wicket fallen toward that direction. Uh, Shaukat uh, striking once again. The man who had come as an opener uh, has to depart uh, in the final over. Uh, and now we have another hard hitter of the tennis ball of the Kings. Qatar is Tiger Altaf. Kanaya Muru is at the baki of this first innings. And we have Tiger Altaf. The man with the jersey number 76. We have played a plenty of cricket in this ground. He knows that in and out of this ground. Uh, more than 25 years of experience uh, of the Andram cricket. Here he comes. Uh. And this time played over the extra cover position. But finding the fielder inside the 30-yard circle. The intention was quite good enough to play from this angle. We thought that the ball have raised quickly onto the cover position on the deep. But... Uh, Miss time, miss hit, finding the fielder who was standing inside the earlier circle. He has to just, had to make just a two step backwards. And a sharp catch taken. Another wicket. So that's a third wicket falling in this over. What an excellent bowler he is. Every time, whenever he comes to bowl the final over for his side in the last two games, he has bowled an excellent spell. Picked a wicket in the regular intervals in the last moment of the innings. Not giving much runs for the team. And look at the way. And now Ampa say that's a time out because the fielders have wasted a plenty of time. And now just a two. Due to that, a penalty has been given to the, the bowling side where we have a one fielder. And needs to come inside the 30 yard circle. Just a four feeders outside the 30 yard circle. This time the matchman Avil going across the ball, kissing the pad. Just a single conceded in the form of a leg by. Here's the final ball. Kunia is at the of the NX. Scores on 48. And this time far away outside the obstacle. No hesitation for the umpire to call it a survivor. With that right, the score was to 49. And Avil has to depart in the form of a run out. Uh, still, we have one more ball remaining. Uh, score remains on 49.
the man to face the final ball Sutter with the jersey number seven and he'll be facing the last ball and the final ball umpire says is it a wide or a dotted delivery but umpire says uh, the batsman of the north strikers and uh, Sutter is run out no but umpire says uh, it's a catch so batsman half to depart that's an excellent catch taken behind the stem by Ashok a lot of confusion whether the batsman was run out on the North strikers end but at the end umpire says uh, the batsman have nicked an excellent catch taken behind by uh, Ashok that's what I was talking in the earlier of the uh, tournament plenty of specialist wicket keeper uh, have been uh, A specialist wicket keeper for all the teams. This time, Ashok doing an excellent work behind the stumps, taking an excellent catch, uh, which was keeping very low. It's not so easy to take those kind of catches. With that, uh, the team uh, Kings Qatar managed to score 49. Uh, that's the same score we have seen in the first game uh, between uh, Nitya Levin and uh, Hoysala Babagate. Where Ritya 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 49 giving a target of 50 which was being chased so this is a different game can we see SRFC Masters Kulia will they be able to chase the target of 50 in allotted 7 overs they do have a specialist matchman up in the top in the batting lineup like Ashok Shaukat they are the man to be watched but not against the strong bowling lineup of uh, Kings Kutar. So we'll be back after a short break for the second innings, chasing a target of 50 in seven overs. So chasing a target of uh, 50, coming back to the second inning. So we have uh, Ashok on the strikers end and Shaukat on the non-strikers end. Uh, 
and the ball is under the hands of Aziz will be starting the proceeding for his side experienced bowler bowling to the experienced batsman a nice battle we will have to watch out in the middle There is an appeal and straight away coming from the wicket keeper Ashraf. Umpire unmoored the ball, pitching slightly far away from the obstacle. Going for the switch hit. At the end, the ball kissing the front foot and the ball raising quickly to the short third man. I will doing the rest of the work behind the wicket keepers. A single adding to the total in a form for like by without the team. SRFC Colia opens your account in a form for next time. Now uh, slightly changes on the field because the lefty batsman shout at the ease of the strikers and uh, and the two fielders are being kept on to the square leg and mid wicket uh, 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 uh. uh, is strong enough on the both the sides of both the directions he can play the shot uh, we've seen in the last game getting uh, a boundary in the very first uh, ball on to the long off position this time making a room wanted to play the similar head but could not time it right in the middle of the bat but a single conceded on to the gully position for a single and he gets off the mark in the very first ball Aziz, second time, this time straight to the bowler. That was slightly far away from the obstacle. The batsman Ashur going after it. But finding uh, the bowler. Four time. This time going for the reverse sweep, connecting right in the middle of the bat. The ball will definitely raise the boundary drop uh, because the feeder has already given up. Uh, that's the longest uh, part of the ground. Uh, and still the batsman was able to get a boundary what a hit coming in the bat of ashok nothing wrong with the delivery ball by aziz he was just bowling wicket to wicket but the batsman ashok has made it quite easier to watch that ball raising quickly over the point fielder because the feeder was slightly widely out of that direction to the extra cover position and even that fielder could not Stop the ball now, racing quickly to the boundary door. What a hit! So, Kunea Yerudu is the bucket for the over number one to be completed in the power play. And this time on to the other direction to the mid wicket position. Just for another single uh, a boundary and then a single taken. A sensible body coming from Ashoki. You know that. They have to score only around nine runs per over. Uh, they've already got that start. They just need to keep their wickets in hand. Uh, seven runs are already conceded in this over. Still one more ball remaining. Konya won this at the park in the over number one. Uh, a left and right hand combination causing some problems. Uh, the wicket keeper Ashraf setting the field uh, for the bowler. Uh, so final ball of the over number one. Uh, can we see a boundary coming in the back of Shaukat onto the long up position? There is an appeal. Umpire Edmund. That was a, another excellent work done by Ashraf behind the stumps. Over number one coming to when it scores on seven for no loss. Uh, chasing a target of 50. Now the question is 36 ball, 43 to get. Muata Aru Esita Nalwata Mudan Avashikate.
Ashraf is the bowler asking to bowl the second over for his side. The man who was standing behind this stump, he will be doing the work for his side because he knows that it is the power play. An experienced player needs to take that role for his side. I'll be bowling to the experienced batsman Ashok. This will be a, a nice battle to watch between the two players. The two senior players are out in the middle. A drives it to the cover position onto the deep as soon as the shot has been offered a straight with the batsman crossing for the second run Shokat running onto the dangerous end and made it quite comfortably onto the non-strikers end The ball coming well in, played onto the mid wicket position inside the 30-yard circle. With that, a single leather score jumping to 10 for no loss. Ashraf uh, to Shaukat uh, and this time onto the onside region onto the deep the ball raising quickly Tiger Altaf the man was standing slightly wider onto the long leg uh, and the batsman uh, finding the gap uh, the ball was raising quickly onto the square leg position onto the deep but a long work had done by the feeder on the deep but he has saved at least two runs for his side another two more runs uh, and the run slowly chipping uh, and this time uh, over the middle position will the ball race the battle onto the boundary of the door the man running behind the ball at the end the result is uh, a boundary that was an excellent attempt done by the feeder uh, was standing at the edge of the 30 yard circle on the middle position he had a long way to stop that ball he has given his best but at the end of the battle is won by the batsman Shauka that's what I was just talking he is strong towards the onside but is very strong towards the offside that's the difference what we see by a talented batsman but this is an experienced bowler going across to play onto the mid wicket position you miss I had no connection between the bat and pad ball coming well in and that's a big wicket. The big fish is back onto the dugout, uh, walking back to the pavilion uh, by giving his wicket, uh, by playing an unnecessary shot when the runs were coming uh, quite nicely for the team. Uh, and Astra finally striking, uh, getting rid of the dangerous man. The score is on 16 for 1. The partnership was building final. It has been broken. Now, still they need another 34 to get. Uh, Konea won the rest of the market. So it means that 31 ball. 34 to get. So we have a new batsman, uh, Keshavan, uh, normally we call him as Keshav, uh, so he'll be on the strikers and to face the final ball of the power play. A guard taken by the, the batsman taking a... Alexi Guard facing the final ball of the over number two of the power play. Here comes Ashraf. Last time. And the batsman going after it, playing to the gully position to keep the strike in the next over. After the completion of two overs, score is on 17 for one, chasing a target of 50. So far, score is on 17. And remaining 30 ball, 33 to get. More there, Sita, more the more run, Avishakate. 
The next match can we have the players of the team Hoysala Bavagatti. Can you please come to the commentator box to sign the registered book? All the players of Hoysala Bavagatti. The captain of Hoysala Babugatti, Subhash, can you get your players uh, to the commentator box uh, to register your playing level for the next match? Because that will be the, the first qualifier match uh, between Hoysala and the winner of this game. Aziz once again coming back to bowl the over number two for his side and the third over for his team. The purple has been completed. Now we can see the fade spreading out. Uh, the four fielders uh, from this direction, nice way to watch. One is on to the long off, long on, midway crater. And the cover fielder. Uh, a nice play by Keshav for just playing on to the mid wicket position. The fielder was slightly at the edge of the 30 yard circle. Uh, if you want to get a pressure onto the bounding side, you need to get that fielder slightly closer. Stop the batsman taking that quick single. Uh, get a pressure couple of dot balls uh, in each and every over uh, that will get a pressure back into the team batting uh, and the batsman will definitely will make some mistakes uh, by offering uh, uh, unnecessary hits uh, either giving the wicket quite uh, uh, cheaply to the opponent that what the captain needs to think get an extra fielder uh, get a pressure uh, when you have an experienced bowler uh, you can't do that uh, this time played on to the deep, on to the point. How uh, will the man doing an excellent work? Good pick up and throw. Here's another experienced player. Uh, been uh, playing uh, cricket almost for more than 20 to 25 years. Uh, played uh, uh, plenty of uh, cricket uh, in the both fashions. Andram Aurab. Uh, a pretty good, excellent fielder on to the deep. Uh, it's not so easy to go for a, a double run when you're finding the feeder like a wheel on the deep. This is once again another a single conceder where you have a huge gap onto the offside region, onto the cover position because the feeder onto the offside. We have a mid off fielder and one fielder kept onto the short third man, and there is a huge gap. That is the area where the batsman can run quite easily you need to get an extra feed onto the cover position rather than keeping that uh, and this time the batsman going for the paddle sweep and that's a good pick up by the wicket keeper behind the stumps getting rid of the dangerous batsman Ashok was down the track uh, was not able to drag his back foot onto the batting crease uh, in new straight away as soon as the ball misses, you know that behind the stump you have an excellent wicket keeper, Ashraf. I've done the rest of the work for his side. Getting rid of the dangerous man. A big wicket, a big fish is back into the dugout. And now we have a new batsman, Dando. Join the company of Keshav. I request the players of Hoysala Babugate. All the players, uh, please look up to the commentary box to sign the registered book for the next match uh, because it's your game. You'll be battling against the winner of uh, this match. Uh, all the players of Hoysala Babugate. The new batsman, Dunno. Confident hit coming from a confident batsman. Uh, straight away going for the switch hit. Uh, a run has been taken quite easily with that single uh, the score was on to 21 on the scorecard chasing a target of 50 over number uh, three in progress
the ball coming well in at the end the batsman playing a nice hit onto the onside region to keep the strike in the next over so after the completion of three overs score is on 22 chasing a target of 50 so Korea knock over Baki Ipatta enter and Avashikate 24 balls 28 to get it's not a, a big task for the team SRFC Masters Kulia they have to score seven runs in each and every over just an extra run from the over and sometimes we know that the bowler can give some extra runs in the form of a wide but now we have a chain the ball again coming from the pavilion and we have Noor with the jersey number 10 it is back well bowling the over number four for his side 24 balls 28. What a match it has to be watched. This will be definitely a, a turning point of the game if no order strikes for his team. But it's not so easy against these two batters. They know that they can get the runs. And definitely both the team doesn't want to play an eliminated round match. They want to play the qualifier won because the winner will have a state chance to go and qualify to the qualified one to battle against uh, the team Hoysala. Every team in the league match they definitely want to be on the top of the points table because they get another chance if they lose the qualified one match they will have another chance to qualify themselves into the finals. This time uh, going after it, but there is a fielder underneath, and that's a boundary. How will the man on the deep missing the catch? And the ball has raised to the boundary top. Definitely, this will be a turning point of the game. And no uh, could have got a wicket in the very second ball. Hardly we see Abel missing uh, the catch and the ball raising quickly to the boundary. Rope. This time going for the switch hit. Uh, the ball far away from the obstacle. Uh, and one plus one early to the total in the form of extra. With that wide, the score moves on to 28. And now the question is ball to ball. 22 balls, 22 to get. Uh, the pressure is back into the bowler door. You need to keep his mind cool. Forget about whatever things happened. Still, you have four balls to be delivered. You need to ball wicket to wicket. And that's what you need to do. There is a chance of a run out. That's what I was talking about earlier. You need to get an extra fielder inside the circle. Get a pressure onto the batters. The batters will definitely make a mistake of giving their wickets if you get a pressure. Look at the way how Dunno, instead of playing a drive, he was just playing a on a soft bottom of the bat finding a feeder in the short cover position Kishore the man doing the rest of the work uh, and the batsman Dunno has to depart in the form of a run out uh, game on for the both the team 21-22 uh, to get uh, And a new batsman, Ashok. Another Ashok will be on the North Strikers and joining the company of Keshav, who's already got a life in this over where the catch was being put down on the long on and the ball raising on to the boundary. And this time onto the point position, the ball raising quickly onto the deep third band region. And the fielder doing an excellent work. Well, the batsman cross for another extra run, but at the end, that was a loser one bowled by Noor. Three runs have been taken onto the deep third band position. The credit goes to the fielder doing an excellent work, stopping at least a run with that three runs. The score moves on to 31. Uh, and this time Tiger Altaf underneath. He doesn't miss those catches. The man Ashok who has just walked in in the over. 
has to depart in the final ball. Still, one more ball remaining in the over number four to be completed. That was the second last ball. The batsman playing a big hit on to the mid wicket position where the man Alvaf without doing any mistake taking that catch another wicket folded now the team SRFC Masters Kulia are in trouble but until we have Keshav out in the middle the runs can be chased 19 to get out of 19 ball it's like a ball to ball now we have a new batsman Ravi joining the company of Keshav a request once again, the captain of uh, Hoysala Babugatti, Mr. Subhash, can you get your players to the commentary box? We cannot keep asking you every time because the next match is between the winners of this match and Hoysala Babugatti. The players of Hoysala Babugatti, please come to the commentary box. Ravi to face the last ball of the over number four. Going for the switch, so it missing it completely. With that, uh, over number four coming to an end. Uh, the score still remains on 31. 18 ball, 19 to get. Lothi Fizuri Balon and he starts uh, with a slightly outside the offstick and the batsman uh, had an ample of time to cross for a second run because the feeder was slightly widely onto the the point position uh, and the ball uh, raising onto the gully position uh, another two more runs conceded in the over number uh, five of the very first ball uh, 17 balls 17 to get Hadnero Sita Hadnero and Navashikate if Latif is trying to bowl outside the off stake, uh, you need to get an extra fielder toward that direction. Uh. But now I'm just changing the the field direction, putting that fielder onto the leg slip. Uh. The leg spinner this time, there is an appeal, but there is a chance of an out, and the batsman definitely will be back into the dugout. From this angle, we see that the batsman was slightly slow enough as soon as the shot was been offered, an unnecessary run taken by the, the batters. Uh, they shouldn't have crossed for the single because the ball is under the hands of the wicket keeper. And the batsman on the North Strikers and Keshav knows himself that he was short of the crease. He already started to walk back to the dugout. Uh, he's not waiting for the umpire's decision because he knew that uh, he's already short. And a signal coming from the umpire, from the third umpire, the batsman is short in his batting crease. He's declared as a run out. That's a big breakthrough.
And this time, play it to the composition just for another single one more on Eric Kithadori coming in the bat of Ravi. And we have a lefty batsman, Damu. And now uh, a slight change in the field because uh, Damu, the lefty batsman, uh, is on the striker's end. Latif uh, bowling to the lefty batsman, Damu. And this time the ball coming uh, slightly outside the off stake. Uh, the batsman uh, going for the big hit and uh, straight away the last moment. Uh, not offering any shot because he knew that the ball was pitching slightly outside the offstick. Uh, the main umpire says that's wide but there was a review done by the wicket keeper uh, thinking that the ball uh, was well inside the crease. And there's a signal coming from the third umpire saying that the ball was uh, well inside the crease and it says that uh, no wide. The umpire has to take his decision back. Well, Latif once again bowling to the lefty batsman Dambo. This time drives it straight past the bowler said Latif. A ball and lose the one. This time there is a chance for an out, uh, but the throw was not so fine enough coming from uh, the Tiger Al Dhaf at the end. The batsman, of course, for uh, a comfortable two run, and this comes on to 36, still 14 to get. Uh. Uh, Latif once again uh, back to his bowling mark. Uh, and the final ball uh, uh, nicely swept slightly from below. Uh, will the batsman cross for the next run? Uh, but the end, uh, the batsman. Uh, Taking just a single. So over number five coming to an end. Score is on 37. This is a match to be watched for the both the teams. The winner will qualify for the qualified one. The loser will have another chance to play. That is the eliminator round. Ashraf, uh, this will be the the deciding over of the match. Hundred sita hadimuran avshikate, and now we have Ashraf to bowl the over number uh, six for his side. A uh, deciding over of the game. If uh, Ashraf picks a wicket of either these two batters, then the game is on for the team Kings Qatar. Even the wicket doesn't matter if he bowls a couple of dotted delivery. If he bowls wicket to wicket, uh, he get a pressure back into the batting side. Uh, this will be definitely the over to be watched. Here comes Ashraf, the experienced bowler. And a straight fielder. 
on to the mid wicket position kishore missing it completely at the end uh, two runs have been conceded on to the deep from this angle we thought that the ball was been fielded by the feeder on to the mid wicket position but at the end one miss field costing another extra run now the question is 11 to 11 ball to ball and this time uh, Statham as the shot was been offered the matchman going for a risky single where the ball is in front of the pitch and the rest of the work is done by the baller himself uh, taking it and striking on to the stumps so he is an excellent fielder and Damu the lefty batsman has to depart that's another wicket fallen wicket number six And now we have a new batsman uh, in it. Another experienced batsman uh, walking out in the middle uh, in it. Uh, is a specialist batsman uh, and that was the turning point of the game for the team uh, SRFC we have seen a couple of wickets falling in this uh, innings uh, unnecessary giving the wicket quite cheaply to the opponent uh, in it uh, going for the reverse with the last moment uh, the ball might be slightly away from him uh, and umpire says uh, it's a bye because he has offered a reverse sweep uh, because that's the new rules as soon as the batsman switches his mat even if the ball is slightly outside the obstacle onto the leg uh, it's called as a fair delivery And there's a signal coming from the third umpire that the decision is a boy. Ashraf uh, bowling to Ravi. At this time, drives it onto the onside region, onto the mid wicket position just for another single addict to the total score, moves on to. 41 on the board. 8 ball, 9 to get. Kone is at the bulky of the over number 6. What a match. And this time the batsman has to depart. Because the ball hitting the leg stake. And from this angle it seems that the batsman have missed the ball. And the ball might have struck the stumps. And the decision coming from the third umpire, the batsman has to depart in the form of bold. Going for the switch hit, the ball coming well in. And that's another wicket as we're talking about. Ashraf is an experienced bowler. And getting rid of the dangerous batsman, Anath has to depart. That's another wicket. Wicket number seven has been fallen. Still nine to get out of seven ball. This will be the deciding ball. If Ashraf bowls a dotted one, in the final over uh, seven uh, to be chased.
Can Ashraf ball a dot to deliver in the last ball of the over number six, or can he get another wicket of uh, the team? SRFC that is uh, Sandeep the new batsman the bat to number eight uh, walking out to the middle uh, the bat to number nine this time uh, played on to the cover position will the batsman cross for the second run out of the man this is an unnecessary run the batsman Ravi has to depart that's another wicket fall on the wicket number eight unnecessary run the ball has been firmly hit on to the conversation and the batsman Sandeep was just watching the fielder on the other end. Ravi straight away running for the extra run has to give his wicket. The wicket number 8 fallen at the score of 42. And now in remaining 6 balls, 8 to get. The batsman number 10 walking out to the middle that is Santosh. In a timeout signal given by the umpire, so it means that one extra fielder needs to come inside the 30 yard circle. That will be an interesting one. Why? Because uh, the batter number 10 will be walking slowly out in the middle, who is on the North Strikers, and that is Mr. Santos, because two fresh batsmen are into the trees. Uh, if you get another extra fielder, uh, that will get a pressure. Janardan will be the baller to ball the last over. Konea over. Or is it the to run? On the other end, the team Kings Kutar, they need to pick two wickets. A strong field kept on to the offside region. Three feeders on to the offside region. Here comes Jonathan to ball the last over. The pressure over. They'll be bowling. And straight to the Kishore, the man. Was slightly floppy over there as soon as the shot was been offered. Uh, there was a slightly charges for the run out, but at the end the batsman is uh, safe in his uh, bounty creates only lost to Ike said. Either a sitna, Yellow Randa Vashikate. Santosh on the batting side. The batter number ten uh, will be facing the bowling of uh, Janadar. Janadar is the bowler to know for his wicket to wicket ball. The first ball a single has been conceded. Here's the second ball. Uh, he'll be balling definitely wicket to wicket. Uh, and this time, batsman going for a big hit. Tiger Altaf underneath. He doesn't drop those kind of catches. That's a big Another wicket. Uh, the batsman straight to be going for a big hit. Uh, the very first ball of the innings. Uh, at one stage, we thought that the team SRFC Masters Kulia will be the winner of this game. But at the end, the ballers of the team, Kings could not have bounced back strongly. This is definitely not a good sign for the team. From the winning position, and now coming to the losing position. But still, the game is not over. We have the final batsman, Money, walking out to the middle to face the next ball of Janardhan. Four balls, seven to get. Money is the batsman. And now Chris in the year load and now what a match it is. Uh, the previous over was the turning point of the game. Ashtar of the man have turned the game and that's the reason why uh, the next bowler will have uh, a run to defend in the final over. Now Chris in the year load and now Last man in. And as the play by money on to the long on position. Tiger Alta doing the rest of the work. Moor is in the year One big hit. One six coming in the bat of Sandeep will get your team to the qualifier one. Mura Sita Adaran won the boundary here a single or one big six or three doubles or two triples. Let's see in which way the runs will be considered in the remaining three ball. Here comes Janata to bowling ball number four. 
Batsman going for the reverse sweep. You miss eye hit, and that's a victory for the team. Kings could turn, and they have qualified for the qualified one. They'll be battling against the Hoysala Babagote. So these are the two teams from Pool A and Pool B. From Pool A, we have Hoysala winning all their three games, and they are in the top of the points table from Pool B. We have Kings Kuthar winning all the three matches and being on the top of the points table. So this will be the interesting battle. The winner of the qualifier one will directly qualify for the final. Loser will have another chance. So definitely that will be an interesting game. We will have a short break for 15 minutes and then we will be back with the action of the qualifier one. Between Kings Kutar versus Hoysala Babagote. Eliminator match will be played between SRFC Masters Kulya versus Nitya Levin. And then qualifier two will be played against the winners of the qualifier one versus the loser, the winners of Eliminator. Uh, no hesitation to Josie man of the match and the, the match number two, it goes to none other than Mr. Ashraf of uh, the team uh, Kings Kutar. Uh, I request Mr. Ashraf to come to the commentary box to collect your uh, man of the match.
സൂപ്പർ സെമി ഫൈനൽ മത്സരമാണ് നടക്കാൻ പോകുന്നത് സൂപ്പർ സെമി പന്ത്യാട്ടം നടയിലിത് ಆಟಗಾರರು ಸೈನಿಕರ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬರಬೇಕಾಗಿ ವಿನಂತಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾವೆ ಸೂಪರ್ ಸೆಮಿ ಫೈನಲ್ ಯಾವುದೇ ತಂಡದ ಆಟಗಾರರು ಬರಬೇಕಾಗಿಲ್ಲ ಸೈನ್ ಅಪ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಎಂದು ಕಮಿಟಿಯವರು ತೀರ್ಮಾನಿಸಿದ್ದಾರೆ
so welcome back after a short break for the the first qualifier match for the Vienna team Hoysala Babakate versus a team Kings Qatar the captain of Hoysala Sumash after winning the toss no hesitation to bat first and we have the two openers uh, Shafiq, the man who backed the man of the match in the, uh, the opening match of the day two. He joined along with uh, Ali on the North Strikers end. And we have the opening bowler, uh, Aziz. Seven hours game, first two overs. is the batting power play. So here's the first ball. And straight uh, where the catch has been taken. That's a big wicket. Uh, the catch has been taken by Kishore on the short square leg near the umpire. Uh, going for a sweep, uh, finding the fielder. That's a big wicket for the team uh, Kings Kutar. Uh, they know that uh, Shafiq is a dangerous matchman. Uh, the very first ball, uh, a wicket has been fallen for the team Hoysala Babugate. What a, what a start. start. That's, That's a dream start for Aziz and a dream start for Kings Qatar. Winner of this match will directly qualify for the final. Loser will have another chance. So change the batting lineup. We have a new batsman with the jersey number ten. Ashraf uh, has been promoted up in the batting lineup. Uh, another experienced player uh, walking too early out in the middle. An uh, the uh, team Hoysala Babugate. The openers give him a great start. Uh, but this is a different format of the game. Any time, uh, anything is possible. Uh, and this time, drives it to the mid-off position. Uh, Sutta, the man doing uh, an excellent work. Uh, and Aziz is just trying to bowl wicket to wicket. Uh, that's what the bowler needs to do in the power play. Rather than bowling uh, some quicker one, outside the off stake, uh, down the leg stake, uh, shorter ball. Uh, the runs will flow for the opening team quite easily. This time, at uh, the last moment, uh, offering a paddle sweep uh, toward the short final -like region uh, to get off the mark with a single. Uh, with that, the team Hoysala Babugate opens their account with uh, one run uh, adding to their team's total. Now, the responsible is under the shoulders of Ali. He is a man to be watched. Once again, uh, the batsman going for the the paddle sweep misses it completely and even the wicket keeper was standing so close to the stumps i was not able to collect the ball which is down the leg uh, in a single considered in a form of a bye so final two ball of the power play of the first over at this time uh, going for the switch hit uh, and the ball was right in front of the page and the wicket keeper ashraf was quick enough and ali Straight away saying no for the batsman. Uh, he doesn't want to take any risk. Uh, already they have lost their first wicket in the very first ball. Uh, so final ball of the first over. Uh, played uh, on to the deep. Uh, but the middle fielder doing an excellent work. Uh, there was a fielder uh, at the deep. Uh, but still a run has been conceded on to the cover position. Uh, so over number one coming to end. After the first over score is on uh, three for one. The start where the team Kings Kutar uh, wanted uh, from the opening bowler, they have got that. Uh, just the three runs uh, in the first over. So let's see who's going to be the bowler to bowl the second over. From this angle, we see that the ball has been handed over to the man who bagged uh, the man of the match in the second game of the day, Ashraf. Uh, will be bowling the second over. Uh, anything above 45 to 50 will be a defendable target. Uh, but to get that runs, uh, someone needs to be a, a big role. Either it should be Ali or Ashraf. Uh, and I believe when the wicket uh, has been fallen in the... We see the captain walking out in the middle as a one-down batsman. But this time, uh, they have promoted uh, Ashraf on the top of the batting lineup uh, As a one-down batsman, uh, the captain, Subhash, 
thinking uh, that he can stick uh, in the middle over uh, and Ashraf bowling to Ashraf, uh, two Ashrafs on the roll. Uh, a single conceded on to the, the point position, another one more run adding to the total. Uh, a leg stick guard has been taken by the experienced player Ali in the first two games. Uh, he had played an excellent knock for his side, but in the match number three, he got out for a golden duck. This time, now he has to carry the innings for the team. Hoysala Babugate, he's the only man who can play the shots all over the ground. He's strong enough towards his pad. So this will be a good battle between Ashraf and Ali. That was a quicker one down the leg. There was an appeal. Umpire straight to play unmoved. A fair call coming from the umpire. Uh, playing a uh, back foot. Uh, it's not a good sign against the bowling of Ashraf. Uh, most of the players they look to play a back foot uh, onto the onside region uh, rather than playing uh, onto the front foot. Once again, uh, going for the paddle sweep, uh, the ball. Uh, Hitting the outer edge of the bat, uh, rising quickly to the leg slip. Uh, and now we need uh, the captain doing a work behind the stumps. Uh. Ashraf, full time. Konea Mouris at the marquee of the over number two. And this time, once again, another dotted delivery. So, final two balls over the power play remaining. Normally, we don't see Hoysala Babagote. They had a good start in the power play in the last three games. But in this qualifier, one runs are not coming. Ashraf, fifth time. And this time, uh, driven it uh, onto the long on. Avil, the man, uh, doing the rest of the work. Just uh, six runs added to the total. Uh, final ball remaining of the over number uh, uh, two. That's the last ball of the second over. And uh, the last ball of the power play. An outer edge ball. Uh, Raising on to the third man position inside the 30-yard circle uh, for another single to keep the strike for the next over. So power play has been completed. A pretty good start for the team. Uh, Kings Kutar. Uh, just a seven runs coming from their first two overs in the power play. What an excellent start. That's a dream start. Uh, so definitely the captain uh, Naveen uh, will ask Aziz to continue who is second over and the third over for his side. Still, Hoysala uh, Babagate, they have five overs, 30 legal deliveries. If they try to get around 35 to 40 runs, still it will be a defendable target for the, the bowlers of Hoysala uh, Babagate. In order to get that runs, the batters need to score runs uh, but not in this fashion the run rate is exactly around 3.5 runs per over uh, what an excellent uh, captain trip from uh, Naveen Aziz uh, has been asked to bowl the over number three for his side uh, and Ashraf setting the field uh, asking Avil uh, to be slightly onto the deep on to the point position, we have a cover finger, short third man, uh, leg sleep, uh, mid wicket. Uh, and this time going for the the paddle sweep. Uh, but I'm passing the ball, pitching slightly down the leg, uh, kissing the back foot of the bat. And a single conceded in a form of a leg by. Uh, runs are not coming uh, in the big shots, just uh, singles, doubles. This time going for the reverse sweep, top edge, uh, falling short of the feeder. Uh, and item was done by the feeder, but at the end, uh, the batsman is uh, safe and is about to increase. Uh, every ball uh, which has been bowled by the bowlers, uh, the fielders of Kings Qatar are giving their 100% out in the field. Why not? Because they know that if they win this game, uh, they will qualify for the final. Uh, every team uh, will definitely will look for a win in the qualified one. Uh, 
This time going for the paddle sweep. You miss, I hit. That's another big wicket. No comments in between the bat and pad. Too early to play that shot. That was slightly quicker than the batsman would have thought. That's a big, big wicket. Ali, the man, should have been playing a responsible innings for his side. Has to depart at the wrong time for the team. Hoysala Babukate. The second wicket fallen. Both the openers are back into the pavilion at the score of just nine on to the scorecard. And now we have the captain. Can captain play a captain snog? This is a challenging task for the captain Subhash. The top batters have failed to get runs in this qualifier match. And now it's your responsible just to carry the innings. Be there till the end. He'll be a very dangerous batsman. The hard hitter of the tennis ball for the Hoysala Babakate. Now the captain, Captain Cool of Hoysala Babakate, Mr. Perfect, is on the striker's end. They're getting off the marker, finding the field onto the mid wicket position inside the 30 yard circle. Just another single added to the total. Kuneya here is at the back of the over number three. Runs is just a 10 on the scorecard. A nice played. There is a fielder on the deep, onto the point position. Avil, I can see him all over the ground. He is an excellent fielder. Every time the ball goes towards his hand, is very quick enough to grab it. Has a strong arm. And the last ball of the over number three. And that's another wicket going for a big hit. Unnecessary. A shot. The batsman should have thought to be there till the end. But this is not the game that what the captain should have done when the team is in a deep trouble. After the completion of three overs, Muro Ranantra score is just 10 or 11 on the board. Another game more. Disaster start for the team. Hoysala Babagandi, the one of the strongest team in the tournament, playing against another team who is also quite better than the other teams. Anything above 35 to 40 will be a defendable target, but on the other end, the bowlers are doing an excellent work. So, can we see Ashraf continue to bowl the over number four for his side? Already three overs, the bowlers have done an excellent work. That's a smart thinking by the captain Naveen, once again asking Ashraf uh, to bowl the over number four. Uh, because if they get rid of Ashraf, then the team uh, are top in the... But right now, if you see that the captain have changed his mind at the last moment, the ball was under the hands of Ashraf, but now... Uh, Last moment, uh, the ball has been given to Noor. Noor will be bowling the over number four for his team. They need to play a sensible cricket out to the middle. Ashraf and Prem. 24 balls remaining. Even if they score another 30 runs, still the target can be defendable. So Kuneya Naka over Baki, 24 balls, Ipatta Naka Sita. This time played over to the feeder, onto the deep. There is a feeder kept on the team. Prem calling for the second run, running from the dangerous end, slightly fumbled by the feeder on the deep. It was just a single, but the feeder was slightly slow. And a warning has been given to the batters who was running in between the pitch. The first warning is given, the second warning, the runs can be deducted. This time playing a late cut, Prem going for a quick single, that's another big record. Ashraf for just offering a shot, thinking that the ball could have gone to the gully position at the end. Uh, the ball coming straight to the bowler. Some confusion out in the middle. Let's wait and watch. What would be the umpire's decision? Whether it's a run out, but umpire says that's out.
and request the umpire uh, if there is some confusion uh, let's uh, call for the third umpire's decision uh, but it means that the umpire's final decision is a batch but is run out uh, so we need to respect the decision given by the official umpires for this tournament uh, that's another wicket the wicket number four has been folded the team hoysala babugate the strongest batting lineup are giving their wicket quite cheaply to the the opening team The decision going against the favor of the team uh, Kings Qatar. Uh, that was uh, definitely a fair call at the end. Uh, the players need to keep in mind when you're trying to, you need to dislocate these stumps. The bail uh, needs to be dispatched onto the ground. Uh, that's uh, a normal way of uh, giving a decision as an out in a form of a run out. And this time the new batsman Jakub is on the no strikers end and a wide call coming from the umpire. The ball was slightly far away from the off stick. Noor is an experienced bowler but on the other end Prem has been playing cricket since last 25 to 30 years. Plenty of experience. A hard hitter of the tennis ball just playing a drive onto the cover position for another single uh, to get off the mark uh, with the help of the single this goes slowly moving up to 15 over number four in progress uh, this is not the start what uh, normally we see from the the batters of uh, hoysala babakate they are the only team to score back to back 50 runs in this uh, tournament the first one uh, they have scored uh, around 56 odd runs in the second match uh, they had scored around 63 runs in the third match uh, they had to chase the target of 50 which was being done quite nicely but in this match uh, the runs are not pouring over number four just a 15 on the scorecard and this time a straight away umpire calls for a no ball the catch has been taken but the batsman is safe in his uh, mounting crease uh, one plus one adding to the total a no ball given by the umpire the score goes on to 17 a free hit ball let's see what Prem can do for his side normally in this tournament we have not seen one big hit coming in the free hit ball Ashraf uh, setting the field, uh, asking uh, Sutter uh, to be slightly widest on to the longer position. So here's the free hit ball. Uh, frame coming down the track, missing it completely. And the batsman uh, thinking that the ball was away from the obstacle, uh, but umpire says uh, that is a legal delivery. Once again, a free hit ball has not been utilized by the batters. Uh, This time going for the reverse sweep. Uh, the ball is high in the air. Uh, the fielder on the net. But the ball falling safe in between the two fielders. Uh, the ball landing uh, onto the directions on the cover position. Uh, the fielder was slightly wider on the mid off, uh, ending with uh, another single. Uh, so with that, the over number four coming to a score is on uh, 18. Hadnan Takinaku. The run rate is exactly 4.5 runs, so still they have another 18 uh, legal balls delivery, even if they score another 20 to 22 runs, uh, a target of 40 will be defendable. Uh. So let's see who's going to be the new baller. Uh. Uh, and the ball is being handed over to Latif. Uh, will be bowling the over number uh, uh, 5 for his side. Uh. The man who can clear the boundary rope is currently on the strikers and uh, Yakub is the man uh, who can get some quick runs in the last three overs. Uh, 
If they carry in the similar fashion, uh, anything uh, below 30 runs can be easily chased by the batters of uh, Kings Kutar. Uh, because one man uh, was just setting the field, uh, he is the man to be watched. Any target which has been set by the Kings, by Hoysala Babagode. Going for the reverse sweep, there is an appeal. Ampar and Maud. The ball is slightly outside the upstake. Intention was quite good enough to play that reverse sweep. If we connect it, the ball will be rising quickly on to the deep to the third man position. Some words given by the the senior player behind the stumps. He's setting the feet in the right direction. Sutter on the wideish of the long off. This time coming down the track. Can it be a biggie? Yes, that's a biggie. The ball is gone out of the park for a big six. That's the first six of the day coming in the back of Jakob. That's what I was just talking about. He's the man to be watched who can clear the boundary ups quite nicely. That was a loser one board by uh, uh, Latif uh, without any fear coming down the track, connecting right in middle of the pad. And this time, once again, going for the big hit. Luckily, the ball did not carry on to the long off field. Will the batsman cost for the second? Uh, Yakub was looking for the second run, but at the end, uh, the frame uh, is safe in his bounty increase. The score slowly jumping to 25. Ipata Aida Kenaku. Over number five in progress. We can keep Ashraf taking a time to set the field to the lefty batsman. Prem. This time, Prem going for the reverse sweep. Finding the fielder inside the 20-yard circle. Uh, now we in the captain doing the rest of the work. Uh, just another single added to the total. Eight runs have already conceded in this over. Uh, with a one big six. Uh, and a couple of runs added to the total in the form of a single. Uh, a right hand, left hand uh, combination causing a problem this time. The player uh, over to the cover position. Will the batsman cross for the second and the ball slightly on the deep? Uh, and the batsman had an ample of time to cross for the second uh, because that's a wide gap uh, given uh, by the the fielders of uh, Kings Kothar. You can see one fielder standing uh, slightly on to the mid up position and. Uh, Onto the short third man, and that's the reason why the batsman is trying to score toward that direction. This time, once again, there is a fielder underneath. No, doesn't make any mistake. This time, the batsman Yakub has to depart. Going for a big hit in the final ball of the over number five, finding the fielder straight. And no, did not have any trouble to take that catch. He was just standing in the right position. The ball coming straight towards him. He didn't have to make a move. The ball uh, straight to the head to the long on onto the throat of the fielder Noor. A big wicket falling at the wrong time for the team. Hoysala Babagunde. Now we have a new batsman, uh, Mr. Rashid, uh, with the jersey number triple three, making his way onto the middle, uh, joining the company of frame. Aido Ranantra score is Ipata Yentake Aido. 28 for five for the completion of five overs. Uh, once again, Ashraf uh, will be bowling the second uh, last over uh, for his side. That means the sixth over for the team uh, and the second over of his spell. Uh, will be bowling to a Prem. Still, we have not seen any big hit coming in the bat. Uh, Prem is a specialist batsman uh, for clearing the boundary drops quite easily. I request the, the captain, uh, Naveen, please carry on with the game before... Uh, you get a penalty in the final over. Uh, already have uh, wasted a couple of times in setting the field. Uh,
And Ashraf is taking ample of time. It doesn't matter if the umpire gives a penalty in the last over because this is a big game. A qualifier game. Winner will directly qualify for the big final of this Ocean Premier League 2024. And the batsman, Prem, coming down the track. The ball was slightly outside the obstacle. And he was already down the track. At the end, he has to depart in the form of a stump. That's another wicket. The wickets are fumbling. The bowlers of King Skutar are picking the wickets in the regular travel. Another fresh batsman uh, walking out in the middle. So now we have uh, two new batsmen uh, yet to face a uh, delivery. We have uh, Rashid on the non strikers end, and we have lefty batsman uh, Ashraf, uh, Ashraf Jr. Uh, a final 11 more ball remaining in the innings. Uh, taking a leg stick guard, umpire giving him uh, the play guard. Uh, and here's yes, the uh, ball, drives it handsomely on to the longer position. Or will the man are doing the rest of the work? The captain has utilized him all over the ground. We have seen him on the long on, long off, uh, mid wicket, on the deep point, on the covers. He's an excellent fielder. And straight the bowler uh, going for the big hit, uh, mistiming it. Uh, another excellent dotted delivery coming from uh, the senior bowler Ashraf. What an over it is. Uh, just uh, a single conceded so far. Uh, this time the ball coming well in. Without from this angle, the ball could have kissed the obstacle. Uh, but missing it from an inch. What a ball. That's a swing ball coming in. And the batsman, Rashid, missing it completely. So Konaya Yerwes at the back of the over number six. Just a wanted conceded uh, coming to the part of Ashraf. And this time going for the big gate. Fielder underneath. Will the catch will be taken? And but this time Ambar says the ball has cleared out of the park. The fielder was on the edge of the boundary door. Still he could not uh, stop the ball sailing over his head. Uh, the wind it was the factor behind that shot. Uh, just a flake onto the long on position. Uh, and that's a biggie coming at the right time for the team. Hoysala Babagate. The runs were not coming. Can we see another six coming from the back of Rashid from that angle? Final ball of the over number six. Once again, toward the same direction. This time, the catch has been taken. The short innings of the Rashid coming to an end. This time, Avil taking the catch. The previous ball has carried the six, but this time the power was not so better than the previous one. So over number six coming to an end. The score is on 35 for seven. So Kronaya always in the park for the team. And let's see what will be the target. Even if they try to score in the remaining six ball, Another six runs. Uh, still, the score can be defendable by the bowlers. They have an excellent bowlers like Yakub, Shafiq, Yatish, Prem, and not to forget the captain Subhash. So definitely above 45 or 40 plus will be a defendable target. If they get rid of uh, Ashraf earlier in the innings, then they are uh, back in the game. So final over, Janardhan, the bowler who had defended eight runs in the last game to get their team to the qualifier. So he comes right on, round the wicket, bowling the last over for his side, bowling to the lefty batsman Ashraf. He always loved to bowl uh, down the ground and that makes the batsman more difficult to go for a big hit. He just keeps the ball down the ground, not giving any 
room or any wedge for the batsman to go for a big hit. He pulls wicket to wicket. That's what uh, he is speciality for the team uh, Kings Kutar at the depth of the over, the final over for his side. Konya Aidwa Sitabaki. Scores on 36. Mota Arake Yelo. Runs at the man. Can also clear the boundary of quite easily. We have seen him playing in those kind of beginnings at the last moment when the team is in desperately trouble. This time going for the big hit. The missing is complete. Ending with a dot ball. Excellent kept by the wicket keeper behind this time, sir. You need to watch the ball. It's not so easy to go for the big hit against the bowling of Jonathan. Either just take a two step from your batting crease, then it will be easy for you to clear the boundary. This time, once again, going for the big hit, the ball is slightly falling down the leg stick, and the ball hitting the pad, and a single conceded in the form of a leg boy. And now the time is out. Just uh, an extra fielder from the boundary door needs to come inside the 30 yard circle. So let's see who is the fielder. And as this is uh, asking uh, the fielder, why is he on the long off region uh, to make your way inside the 30 yard circle? That's uh, a great sign. And Ashraf has made uh, some changes, uh, pushing that fielder slightly wider to the cover position onto the 30 yard circle this time there was a chance for a big hit uh, because uh, this time that's the first loose ball that has been bowled by jenner then uh, this time he is pitching the ball onto the stumps uh, luckily the ball was not carried out of the park by the batsman so kronaya here is in the pocket coming the bowling of jenner then just the two runs conceded this time drives it uh, to the long horn. Will the batsman go for the second? But they're only happy with the single. Last ball of the qualified one, uh, first innings. The team who scored uh, the highest run in this tournament in this qualified one, uh, the batters failed uh, to get the runs. Uh, but the credit goes to the bowlers of uh, Kings. Uh, all the bowlers of uh, Kings. Uh, I've done an excellent work. So here's the final ball. And the final ball has been played on to the long off position. Uh, definitely the batsman will be just a run out. Uh, but at the end of the score was on to 39. So it means that uh, a 40 is a target to be changed by the team batters of uh, Kings. Definitely the target is not so tougher. But still you cannot predict who's going to be the winner until the last ball has not been delivered by the ballers of uh, Hoysala Babugate. 40 to be defendable. The first two overs of the power play will be the crucial one because if uh, Ashraf and Kishore attacks the bowler uh, in the beginning of the first two overs, then the target can be chased quite easily. They have a pretty good players like Ashraf, uh, Kishore, not to forget the captain Naveen, Avil, Satar, and the man. No, and not to forget uh, Tiger Altaf. Uh, they have uh, uh, plenty of batters who can come out and chase the target of 40 quite easily. In the meanwhile, uh, can we have uh, the next match between? Uh, SRFC Masters Kulia and uh, and Nitya Levin, all the players. Uh,
It's not so easy for the players to play their cricketing game under the such a huge humidity climate which has been showing in the last couple of days in Mangdor. Normally we don't see those kind of humidity. The temperature is so high it's also getting some problems to the players. It's a time where normally we don't see a too much cricket tournament happening uh, during the season of uh, April and uh, May. But still, uh, the players are quite crazy for this uh, cricketing game. Uh, that's called the love for showing on to their cricketing game. So chasing a target of 40 runs in allotted 42 balls. Let's see how the batters of uh, the team uh, Kings Kutard, uh, the two batters, one is the man with the jersey number 77, Mr. Ashraf, the man who backed the man of the match in the last game. He's been joined with the company of uh, Kishore, the two experienced players. And the ball has been handed over to Yakub, the man who had hit a six, got some runs for his team when it was needed. So can he strike in his first over? The first two overs of the power play will be the crucial one. We have the two fielders kept outside the 30 yard circle. One is towards the long off. Uh, Mr. Ali was taking a photo shot uh, over there in the boundary. He has his fan on to the boundary door, uh, encouraging uh, Ali for each and every time whenever he is in the middle. Uh, either when he's batting or when he's fielding. That's the fan base we have for Ali. And we have another feeder on the... This time, straight away, definitely, umpire will raise his one hand because that's a fair call. It's a no ball, not a good start for the team. Hoysel of Babugate chasing the target of 40 runs. The very first ball, Yakov have lost his line and rolling out of the pitch and I'm past so that's a no ball and here's a free hit ball and the free hit ball the batsman Kishore missing it we have seen Prem doing the same thing missing the free hit ball and the same played on to the Mid wicket position inside 20 yard circle to get off the mark. So runs are coming quite nicely for the team. Kings Kota. They just need to keep their wickets in hand. Both this batsman needs to play a sensible cricket. They're going for the river sweep. And the ball getting an outer reach of the bat. The single has been considered. So both the batters are off the mark with the singles adding to the individual account. This time drives it uh, on to the long opposition. Ali doing the rest of the work. Uh, five on the scorecard. I request the two teams, uh, SRFC, Masters, Kulia and uh, Nitya Levin, all the players. Uh, please do come to the commentary box for your signing onto the registered book. Uh, this time the ball has been firmly hit straight to the fielder in the goal position. Uh, Kone already set up keep. Still you have another two more balls remaining in the first over. Uh, this time going for the reverse sweep once again. He loves to play that shot. Why not when the ball is slightly away from the obstacle. And the plenty of matches uh, we've seen in this tournament. Uh, when they get a chance to play that shot, they always uh, connect it right to the middle of the bat. This time, uh, a sensible batting uh, playing uh, towards the middle position to keep the strike in the next over. The start what they got in the first over, uh, chasing a target of 40. They have already got six for no loss. Now with the remaining, Moata Arvaseta, Moata Nakura Navashagate. 36-34, all the wickets in hand. Anitya Levin and SRFC Kolya. Ella Tagaru Daivari commentary box in Baraveka to Kiri Kulitan for the signing purpose. Before the end of the fourth over, all the players need to sign the registered book. 
before the end of the fourth over. And also I request for the captains, please be in the commentary box. With the chassis number three coming from the commentator box, we have Yatish. Will be bowling the over number two for his side. One plus one adding to the total in the form of a wide. Uh, not a start what Yathish uh, wanted in his very first ball of the over number two. Bowling a wide far away outside the obstacle. Uh, Yakub started with a no ball, Yathish started with a wide. Uh. Sensible batting by uh, Kishore, not taking any risk. Already the runs have come in this over. Uh, three runs have been conceded already in this over uh, in the first ball. Uh, five balls, even if they score another five to six runs, uh, will get their total uh, slightly lower. Uh, going for the big hit, uh, missing it completely. Well kept behind the stumps, uh, Shafiq. Uh, going for a quick something, uh, but the batsman is safe in his mounting crease. Uh, Ashraf. Uh, Playing from his batting crease, going for a lofted head onto the cover position, uh, missing it completely. Room was given to play that shot. Uh, why not? The ball was slightly widely outside the offsick. Uh, that was the uh, intention to play that shot. Uh, Scorsel remains at nine. Over number two in progress. Uh, and this time, look at the way from far away from the leg stake, going for the reverse sweep. And the ball. Uh, Raising quickly to the uh, the cover position for just another single. And this time uh, the ball coming well in. That's a wicket what the team Hoysala Babugate wanted. And the team bowler yet is striking. Yathi is striking uh, in his first over. Uh, Kishore uh, going for a big drive, uh, missing it completely. No connection in between the bat and bite. The ball coming well in. Uh, and the uh, striking uh, for his side. Now the equation is still there another 30 odd runs to get. Uh, until Ashraf is there on the non strikers and uh, the target can be chasable for the Kings Qatar. Naveen, uh, the captain of uh, Kings Qatar, uh, he is on the striker center. Uh, we'll be facing the bowling of uh, Yathish. Konea Yerdes at the back of the power play. Last two balls uh, of the over number uh, two. Naveen is known for spigoting this time far away from the leg stick. Uh, strong enough on his bird uh, and he knew that as soon as the ball has been delivered far away from the leg stick. Uh, not going for it. Uh, this time going for a bad and sweep. The ball raising quickly to the long leg position. Will he cross for the second? But the fielder uh, Yakub was quite uh, quick enough to grab it. And here's the final ball of the over number two. Kone has the baki of the over number two of the power play. Akri gained but you over number two in progress. And going for the reverse sweep slightly fumbled by the fielder. 
over there at the end a single has been considered to keep the strike for the next over after the completion of two overs two overs of the power play the score is on 13 for one chasing a target of 40 odd runs now the question is 30 ball 27 30 ball 27 uh, now we have the man uh, Shafiq uh, could not do anything uh, for his side uh, got out for a golden duck in the very first ball of the innings uh, can he get a breakthrough can he strike for his team uh, can he get the wicket of the dangerous man Ashraf uh, what a battle it could be by the both the players who back the man of the matches uh, in their last games uh, so Shafiq uh, rolling to Ashraf. Uh, it starts with the dotted one. Uh, the ball uh, pitching slightly away from the batsman. Uh, onto the off stick. Uh, and the same once again uh, going for the switch it missing it completely similar fashion but this time was uh, slightly quicker than the previous one uh, this is uh, bowling uh, wicket to wicket not giving any room for the batsman to score some runs uh, that's what the bowler needs to do just keep a tight line of length and this time the ball uh, drifting onto the pad uh, the ball this time coming well in uh, swinging away from the outside and then coming uh, Slightly onto the pad, uh, last moment, uh, Ashraf uh, playing a glance towards the leg slip, uh, which is uh, behind the wicket keeper, uh, Ranjit uh, doing the rest of the work. Uh, and this time the batsman going across, uh, and that's a fair decision coming from the umpire, uh, right in front, uh, the captain uh, Naveen uh, playing a loose hit, uh, and it's been just uh, LBW right in front. Uh, the score still remains on 14. Now the equation is ball to ball. Aziz is a new batsman facing the bowling of uh, Shafiq. Uh, Shafiq striking, uh, getting rid of the captain of uh, King's Qatar. This time, uh, there was a catch. Uh, that's a loose shot. Uh, from this angle, we thought that was an outside edge. Uh, the ball was slightly close to the obstacle. Uh, ending with another dotted one. And this time going for the brigade early underneath he doesn't drop the catch that's another wicket uh, a loose shot played by the batsman uh, when you have an experienced player on the north strikers and you need to support your batter uh, it's just a ball to ball game uh, if you're giving wickets if you're giving a lot of doctor delivery the pressure will be on ashraf uh, that's a wicket number uh, three fallen uh, what an over uh, coming from uh, shafiq uh, Striking uh, twice in this over, uh, getting rid of uh, Naveen and Aziz. Uh, now we have a new batsman, Noor, walking out to the middle. Uh, so now the question is 24 balls, 26 to get.
Captain Subhash uh, getting his uh, another front line bowler back into his uh, bowling mark. Yakub who started the proceeding with the over number one. Now he'll be bowling the over number four for his side. Ipatta na kwesita ipatta aru dunnar avashikate. And the main man uh, is Ashraf and Noor. These are the two batters. Uh, they need to play a sensible cricket. It's just like a ball to ball game, and nothing much difference in between uh, the ball and uh, the run. From this angle, definitely the ball is pitching outside the obstacle. Fair call coming from the umpire. But there was a half an appeal from the a baller. Uh, the wicket keeper was not interested for an appeal. He knew that the ball is pitching uh, outside the obstacle. Uh, runs have been considered in the form of a like boy. Uh, And this time an extra run has been considered. That's what uh, the batters need to just think uh, because sometimes the open end bowler will give you some free runs uh, either in the form of a uh, wide or no ball. We have seen an extra coming this over. This time uh, going for the reverse sweep. We're going to keep missing it completely. The ball was slightly close to the leg stick. Uh, it's not so easy for the wicket keeper to take that shot uh, behind this stump because the batsman had offered a reverse sweep uh, that will get some confusion to the wicket keeper behind the stumps. But at the end, runs have been considered in a form of a bye. It doesn't matter how the runs are coming, each and every runs are important for the team King Skutar. And this time, going for the reverse sweep, frame the man. Doing a work on to the gully position, just a single conceded. And this time, uh, the ball racing quickly on to the final leg position. Ranjit, the man working, uh, running behind the ball. A little bit of extra work uh, needs to be done by Ranjit. Uh, as soon as the shot was been offered, it was slightly wider uh, from his angle. Uh, and another two runs have been added quite quickly onto the belt of uh, the team. Uh, Kings Kutar coming in the bat of Noor. The big man, the tall man, uh, playing uh, a paddle sweep. Going for the reverse sweep. Uh, this time the ball uh, onto the, uh, the point position of the team uh, just for another single. Uh, but the single is comes on to 21. Konea won the Sitabaki. Hattambatta Yaseta, Hattambatta Rana Vashikate. Ball to ball. One or two wickets will get the game for the team Hoysala Babugate. But at the end, a single has been taken. So Yakub has completed his over number two and the fourth over for his side. Hatten to Yaseta, Hatten to Rana Vashikate. 18 balls, 18 runs. What a match in the qualified one. In the meanwhile, can we have uh, the two teams? Uh, all the players who have not signed the playing register counter, please come and sign the balance remaining players of the both the teams. Uh, SRFC, Masters, Kolya and uh, Nitya Levin. They'll be playing the Eliminator match. That winner uh, will be playing against the losers of uh, Qualifier 1. Uh, Shafiq once again uh, is brought to Ball the over number five for his side. Uh, this will be the interesting over. Uh, can he strike once again? The batsman going for the switch hit. Uh, but finding the fielder onto the cover position. Uh, Yakov doing the rest of the work. Uh, just a single has been taken. Uh, one more and adding to the total. Slowly moving up to 23. Uh, 17 balls, 17 to get. 17 runs to get. And this time, uh, there is a field on the deep on the square leg region. One more straight to the fielder. Uh, in the meanwhile, the batsman have crossed with a single. Uh, slightly fumbled by the wicket keeper, Ashraf, but still uh, 
both the batters are definitely looking quite tired out in the middle because of the climate because of the heat it's not so easy to be out in the middle and play a cricket game this time once again the ball coming well in it was just an inch to get the the wicket of Ashraf This time, going for the switch hit, not offering any shot. Another dot to delivery. So two back-to-back -back dot balls, getting a pressure back into the team. King Skutar scores on 24, still 16 to get. And that's another great delivery bowled by Shafiq. The ball coming quite quick enough onto the off-stake. It looks like a yokel delivery at the last moment. The batsman playing... A late cut, missing it completely. Once again, the ball misses the obstacle. So, final ball of the over number five. What an excellent over. Just the two runs considered. This time, going for the reverse sweep. Prem, the man, doing a work on the third third man position for keeping Ashraf back with his strikers and for the last two overs. It means that in the remaining 12 balls, 15 to get. They have seven more wickets in hand. So over number six uh, with the jersey number one coming from the commentator box and the brain will be bowling the over number six. This will be a deciding over. Hunter is it had the neither and now shakate. What a match. Bala Gendome Pandra run kids which will be definitely the battle is just like a 50-50. Both the teams have a chance to qualify to the final. Let's see which team will do it into the big final of this ocean. Premier League season 20, season 4. A frame. Left arm around the wicket. Bowling, uh, wicket to wicket, uh, drives it down the track onto the long one. Rashid, the man doing an excellent work. That's what the frame needs to do. Just bowl a quick one, even if he's bowling wicket to wicket. Uh, but anything over pitch, uh, a newer will go after him. Uh, And this time, uh, there is a field underneath uh, with the ball falling short of uh, Subhash onto the cover position. Uh, first two balls, two runs have been considered. Three to get out of ten ball. Uh, one or two dot balls in this over. Uh, then the last over, let's see who's going to be the bowler. We have uh, plenty of options. Subhash, Ali, the other bowlers to be watched in the final over. But this is a crucial one. The last four ball of the over number six. Far away from the next thing. A fair call coming from the umpire. That's an extra run. That's a free run given to the opponent in the form of a wide. Rather than bowling straight, bowling a quicker one down the leg. A frame. Third time. And this time going for the reverse wave. This time the batsman has to judge right in front. Because the ball kissing the back foot of the batsman. There was no way to play that shot at this time. There is no correction in the bat. The ball was slightly quicker. And the ball might be kissing the leg stick. And that's a decision coming from the umpire. That's a big wicket. Can it be a turning point of the game? Still nine ball, two well to get. One Seta, hundred run Avashagate. Now we have uh, Tiger Altaf. Can Tiger Altaf target uh, towards the commentator box? Uh, he can clear the boundary of quite easily. He is a hard hitter of the ball. Uh, advanced stage, it was the team uh, Kings Kutar's game. Uh, We've seen in the last game also between uh, Kings Kutar and uh, SRFC. The game was under the hands of SRFC. 
the masters at the end giving that game easily to the kings qatar or else we could have seen srfc masters kulia playing in the qualified one Cricket is a funny game, that's what I was talking. Every time when the wickets are being fallen, the pressure will be on the batting side. Prem. Once again, down the leg. This is not a great sign by the bowler. But luckily, it is called as a buy. So that's a fair delivery coming from the third umpire. The runs have been only considered in a form of uh, buy. Another runs added to the total. The score moves on to 29. And this time, uh, the wide has been given. Uh, so, the previous one, we can consider right now with this ball. Uh, Prem is bowling some extra pace. That's uh, costing some runs given uh, freely on to the opponent team in the form of wides. And now the question is just a tend to get. Uh, Prem bowling to Noor. And we're going for a big hit. Uh, there is a man on the deep. Uh, Ashed of the man. A good pick up and throw. Altaf was slightly slow enough to complete the, the second run. So Kunia is set of the over number six. Yero is set of one better than now. What a match. South Gendo may sip no run. Kisarudata. Akri Ege Bachiwa is over number Cheke. Six, nine. Seven, nine. Here comes the last ball of the over number six. And that's a daughter delivery. So, what an excellent overboard by uh, just the fire is coming in that over, picking an important wicket of Ashtaf. Now, the question is uh, six balls, nine to get. The smart thinking by the captain Subhash, uh, even he had a choice to bowl the last over, but he knows that Ali is likely a slower than uh, Subhash because Subhash always tried to bowl in a pacer format. Uh, Ali, the man to defend, nine runs in the final over. Aru is the one run of Six, nine.
And a first ball on the play now to the mid wicket region. And there is a chance of an out. And that could be a close call. Definitely, yes. The batsman door has already made his way down to the commentator box because he knows that he was short enough to drag his bat. The dive could have saved him, but at this age. He doesn't want to take any risk. Uh, the very first ball played onto the deep, onto the outside region. Uh, Yakub was quite quick enough. Uh, look at the way how he has grabbed the ball. Uh, and the effort done by Shafiq is also much more uh, important uh, role uh, to getting uh, the wicket off uh, Noor. Sato is a new batsman going for the reverse way, missing it completely. There is another run out. Definitely Altaf, Tiger Altaf has to depart. Brampa says that's wide. The main empire giving us a wide uh, and straight away the review has been taken but on the other end uh, Altaf has to depart in a form of a redoubt. He was down the track uh, as soon as the shot was offered uh, the wicket keeper uh, collecting the ball uh, and striking onto the, the baller's end. Uh, so let's see what will be the decision from the third empire as the main empire has given us as a wide and the review has been taken uh, And the decision coming from the third umpire is a wide ball uh, given uh, from the third umpire. So let's carry on with the game. The decision uh, going against the favor of the, the team. Uh, with that wide, the uh, score moves on to...
So five ball, eight was required, and we have Abil, the new batsman on the North Strikers end. And this time, once again, far away from the leg stake. Once again, another extra. That's another gifted run coming. So two more runs adding to the total. Now the question is five ball, six to get. Now the scores are 36 and that's the timeout and we have another extra fielder coming inside the 30 yard circle. Now the question is, four balls, four to get. What a match. In the last over we have seen a couple of whites given by the bowler Ali and that costed some gifted run. That will definitely hurt the captain of Hoysala uh, Babugatte. He had a choice to bowl the last over, but giving uh, an option for Ali to bowl the over number seven for his side. Four balls, four to get. And now, as soon as the shot has been offered, uh, nicely swept by uh, Satar. Murake Muru. And look at the way how Ali has set the feed on to the outside position. Three fielders standing close. And the batsman going for the river sweep. Missing completely. There is a chance for an out. And this could be a close call. Going for the switch. It, but it seems that the batsman himself is uh, safe in his cracking crease. So that's a uh, The batsman Avil feels that he is safe in his batting crease. Uh, as soon as the shot was being offered, going for the reverse sweep, the wicket keeper was slightly slow to grab the ball and uh, striking on the non striker's end. So let's see what will be the decision. From this angle, uh, the batsman might be closer, but umpire says that uh, the batsman. Uh, Let's wait for the decision. It's a close call. Can it be on the favor of batsman or for the full leg position? But it goes to the favor of the batsman. Avil is safe in his body increase on the North Strikers end. Now the required run rate is just a two balls, two to get. In case if the match ends with a tie, we will have a super. If the match ends with the tie, definitely there will be a super over. Once again, the match ended with the tie. Or we can see a victory coming in the hands of Kings Kulthar. The last ball. One ball, one run. Pressure will be on a will. One ball, one to get. If it's a void, that's an easy victory for her. Because in the last table we have seen three whites. Uh, that was the turning point of the game. Koneya won the Aseta, won the run of Shikate. Just a one fielder uh, has been pushed on to the onside uh, on the short mid-wicket region. One ball, one run. Ali bowling to Abil. Pressure will be on the batter. Uh, and with that, that's a victory for the team Kings Kutar and they have qualified for the final.
What a victory for the team Kings Cuthard. But definitely on the other end, well played by Hoysala Babukate. Still they have another chance. They don't have to break their head. They were so close to the game. The spirit of the game needs to be in the both the teams. A couple of here and there the decision going from the umpires. We need to accept those decisions coming from the umpires. So nothing to break your heart. Hoysala Babugate, you still have one more chance to qualify yourself into the final. So next match between SRS Master Kul So the second match, that's the eliminator match, will be played between SRFC Kulia versus the team Nitya Levin. That will be the eliminator match. The winner of that match will be playing the qualified two against Hoysala Papagatti.
So let's uh, continue with the game in the qualifier match one. The man of the match it goes to none other than for his outstanding bowling spell. Conceding just uh, four runs, picking uh, the top batters of Hoysala uh, Babakote. It goes to Aziz. He is the man of the match. Congratulations, Aziz, for making the man of the match. Now we have the eliminator match going on between uh, the team. Uh, The captain of uh, team uh, Nitya Levin after winning it was selected to bowl first in the eliminator match uh, between uh, SRFC Masters Kolya versus uh, Nitya Levin. Uh, we have the two openers Ashok and Shokat. Uh, the ball has been handed over to Charan. And here's the signal given by the umpire for the start of the eliminator match. Uh, Charan uh, will be starting the proceeding uh, coming uh, from uh, the commentator box and uh, will be bowling to Ashok. Uh, the winner of this match will be battling against the qualifier 2 with uh, Hoysala Babakote. Already we have one uh, team qualified for the final of this Ocean uh, Premier League Season 4. Uh, Kings Qatar. Uh, the first ball uh, driven uh, down the ground, uh, the fielder running behind the ball and the battle is won by the batsman uh, Asho getting off the mark with a handsome drive in between the two fielders uh, in the cover and uh, the mid-off position uh, onto the gap uh, handsomely driven uh, to the boundary. Once when the ball has been uh, hit into the gap uh, uh, the ball uh, will race quickly to the boundary top uh, without any hesitation. Uh, what a start for the team. Uh, there is time. The ball pitching slightly down the leg. Uh, a fake call coming from the umpire uh, to church as a uh, leg boy. And not a good start uh, for uh, the ball at Charan. Uh, that's another extra conceded this time in the form of a wide, uh, far away from the obstacle. And this time there is an appeal. Uh, and there is an appeal for a court behind. Uh, Shaukat. Uh, you cannot get a review for uh, the court behind. Uh, we do not have a DRS to get that decision. Uh, Prakash, the wicket keeper behind these terms, was in a full flow of uh, going for an appeal. Uh, but the bowler, uh, Charan, was unmoored. And this time played over the cover position. The ball raising quickly onto the body top. Uh, by the end, uh, just another two runs have been added to the total of uh, SRFC Master Skolia. This time, uh, Shavkat getting off the mark with that handsome drive uh, over the cover fielders. Uh, The start what uh, the team wanted, they have got that uh, in the beginning of the first over. Uh.
and this time the ball coming well in the batsman on double minded whether to play for a switch it at the last moment the ball coming quite quicker than what the batsman would have thought ending with a dotted delivery And this time going for a paddle sweep, missing it completely. What an excellent comeback by the bowler Cher in the last three ball, three dotted delivery. After the completion of first over, score is on eight. Enter no loss. So let's see who's going to be the bowler to bowl the second over uh, and the ball is being handed over to Abu will be doing the proceeding uh, to bowl the second over for his side and that will be the last over of the power play. In the first over of the power play just uh, 8 runs considered uh, in the second over of the power play let's see how many runs uh, can be scored in the final over of the power play. The two official umpires, we have uh, Ranjesh Uchila and Pradeep Katari. The two experienced umpires are doing an excellent work uh, in this tournament uh, by giving uh, some good decision. Uh, and we need to appreciate the decision given from the umpire. This time there was an appeal from the bowler, of an appeal. Uh, the ball uh, is pitching slightly down the leg. Uh, and a fair call coming from the umpire. Another extra added to the total. Uh, we see uh, Shaukat struggling a little bit. Might be due to some uh, uh, problems at his back. He uh, keeps uh, stretching his uh, back. As soon as that shot was been offered into the cover position to get off the mark from that onwards. Uh, he has some, uh, a little bit of... Uh, an injury on his uh, back. And this time, once again, there's enough an appeal uh, going for uh, a big battle sweep. Uh, the ball uh, striking on his uh, front foot. Uh, Another a like boy signal coming from the umpire. Apart from one boundary, the runs are only coming in the form of an extra. The ball kissing the pads frequently. Ashok and Shaukat are the two experienced players for uh, SRFC Kolya. If they need some runs, these two batters need to stick till the end. It was firmly hit straight to the bowler. The chance given to the batsman Ashok. The bowler Abu on his own bowling mark. It was firmly hit. And he could not grab it. The last time the ball popping out of his hand. He knows that that was an important wicket. But he cannot blame the bowler. It was firmly hit in the reflection of and this time connecting right in the middle of the bat and that's a big hit as soon as the catch has been put down in the previous ball this time Ashok has hammered a biggie on to the mid wicket position the fielder was standing at the edge of the bounded up even the effort done by the fielder could not stop the ball passing over his head onto the crowd for a first six of the Zenix And this time getting an outer edge uh, onto the gully position just for another single. Uh. Five balls have been bowled in this over. Uh. 
And we have a last baller. Kronia is the baki of the over number two in the power play. And this time played straight to the square leg fielder inside the 30 yard circle looking for a quick single at the right point. Ashok sending the batsman Shokat back because he knows that he was running out to the dangerous end. So with that the over number two coming to an escrow is on 17 for no loss. Rohit uh, has been asked to ball the over number three. Uh, this time played wirelessly on to the deep cover position. Uh, and that's uh, another boundary coming in the bout of uh, Ashok. Uh, that's uh, second boundary in his innings. We've already seen him hitting a, a six. Uh, as soon as the catch has been put down in the previous over, uh, a caught and ball chance. Uh, which has been uh, put down by the bowler up very next bowler big six and now look at the way after the power play has been completed the feeders have been spread uh, onto the boundary top still uh, without any fear uh, playing uh, the drive uh, onto the cover position in the very first ball uh, of the over number three coming in the morning of Rohit uh, a boundary followed with a single in the very next ball uh, drives it towards the long opposition And this time, the batsman coming down the track, waiting for the umpire's station. At the last moment, the batsman not offering any shot. He knew that the ball is pitching slightly leg. The batsman was too down the track. The baller followed the batsman. At the end, the batsman dragging his back foot to stop that ball. He knows that if he misses it. We could have seen uh, Shokat walking back to the play in the form of an now. This time, going for a slog sip. Uh, at the end, uh, a single conceder in the form of a buy. Uh, the batsman shuffling uh, outside the off stick. Uh, and the ball uh, was slightly inside the... The wide line. Uh, at the end, uh, resulting a dot ball. Uh, ending uh, with a buy. Uh, the wicketkeeper missing it completely this time uh, far away from the waiting for the decision The batsmen are appealing for a wide, but the main umpire has uh, not considered as a wide, thinking that uh, the batsman going for the reverse sweep. Uh, the ball was far away from the the line. So let's see what would be the decision given. But the third umpire says that it's a legal ball. Even the batsman could not believe uh, because the ball was drifting slightly onto the in a line uh, even after the batsman going for the reverse sweep uh, that's a fair call coming from the umpire uh, uh, at the end uh, a single has been considered in the form of a buy uh, and this time going for a big slog sweep uh, missing it completely with that the over number three coming to it after the completion of three overs goes on 24 for no loss uh, 
A pretty good run rate. These two batters are scoring for their side. They have still have four overs, 24 more balls. In 24 balls, even if they score another 30 odd runs, that will be a good total to be defendable. More over and the score is on 24. Ipatta Naka ke no loss. So after the completion of the uh, first three overs, scores on 24 for no loss. And now uh, the ball has been handed over to Prakash. Uh, will be bowling the fourth over for his side. Uh, let's carry on with the game. Uh, it's a 30 minutes time has been allotted to complete the innings. Uh, I request the fielders do not waste any time. Uh, And this time Nasi played over to the cover position and the catch has been taken. Uh, that's a big wicket. Uh, the man who was looking quite dangerous out in the middle uh, was already struck uh, a couple of boundaries and a six. Uh, a smart catch taken by uh, Khalil at the deep. Uh, he knows that uh, Ashok uh, is a dangerous batsman. Uh, that's the first wicket. Uh, the partnership of 24 finally broken by Prakash. Another experienced uh, player, uh, we have Keshav uh, taking a charge as a one down batsman. He'll be joining the company of Shaukat, who is on the North Strikers end. Uh, Prakash striking in his very first ball. Uh, he is a wicket taking bowler. Uh, This time going for a drive. Uh, the ball uh, raising quickly on to the short third man region for another single to get off the mark. With that single, the score uh, moves on to 25 for one. Once again, you can watch this live exclusive of this match in uh, YouTube under the King's Sports. Uh, they are the official media partner for this one. But this time, Shaukat going for a big hit. Uh, could not time it. That was a low full cross ball. Uh, we normally don't see Shaukat missing those kind of a ball. Uh, once again, he's struggling uh, at his back. Uh, he might have uh, stressed his back in the very first uh, ball that he has faced playing towards the cover position. Uh, at this time, that was a loser one. Prakash might have his heart on his mouth. Uh, luckily, the ball was not dispatched out of the park. Uh, that's the first uh, intention we have seen the baller bowling a loser one. Uh, luckily for the batsman, uh, the top edge uh, not carrying to the wicket keeper behind the stump. Uh, just another single. Uh, and this time going for the big hit uh, on to the onside region uh, they should be only satisfied with the single the keeper uh, running after it he knows that the feeder of the square like position was on the deep the midwicket fielder was on to his position the ball was slightly slower on to the direction of uh, the umpire on the square like uh, this time going for the reverse sweep uh, a single has been taken quite easily. Just one more run adding to the total. And here's the final ball of the over number four. So Kunea won the Sitabaki of the over number four. 
And this time, the batsman going for the switch hit, missing it completely. And umpire calls it as a wide. One plus one adding to the total. So let's get in with the game. Umpire decision will be the final one. Wide signal again by the umpire. One plus one adding to the team total moves on to 30 over number four in progress. Final ball of the over number. This time the batsman coming down the track but finding the fielder. Because the batsman was down the track if he was uh, right on his crease uh, then uh, we could have seen a no ball. But this is not the way you can ask for the umpire for a no ball. And the batsman Shaukat has to depart uh, in the final ball. Uh, what an excellent over ball by uh, Prakash. Getting rid of the ball, the openness of uh, SRFC Masters Kolya. The two batters are back into the pavilion. Both the openness. So after the completion of first four overs uh, of the eliminator round match uh, between uh, SRFC Masters Kolya versus uh, Nithya Levin, the captain of Nithya Levin winning the toss uh, decided to board first goes on 30 for 2. We have two fresh batsmen down the crease. This time, uh, once again, that's the third catch taken by the same fielder to get rid of the three top batters of SRFC Kolya. Keshav going for the big hit, uh, which is not needed at this time. Even if they score runs even in the singles, anything above 45 to 50 runs will be a tougher target. We have seen in the previous game, uh, 40 runs uh, was being uh, defended by the bowlers of Hoysala Babukate. In the last over, they had to defend 9 runs. Uh, only the bowler bowling a couple of wide. That was the only reason where the team Kings Kutar could have... Uh, got a win uh, in that format uh, where in the last one ball one run was required uh, a sensible late cut coming from the bat of Avila getting his team into the final now uh, we have Ashok uh, the new batsman uh, joining the company of uh, Ravi two new batsmen uh, out in the middle And as you're getting off the mark, uh, straight away playing uh, to the cover position with that single, uh, the score moves on to 31. Another single has been considered uh, the first uh, three ball, just a two runs, and a big wicket uh, of Keshav. Uh, and the time going for the big hit. Luckily, the ball did not carry to the fielder on the cover position. Was standing at the edge of the 30 yard circle. Percy, the man, we seeing him taking a couple of good catches in the, the beginning of the, the tournament's first match. This time, making a draw, wanted to play on to the offside region, missing it completely, ending with a dotted one. What an over bowled by uh, Rohit. Uh, just the three runs coming in this over. Uh, the score is on 33. It has already picked a wicket. Uh. And this time there is a huge appeal. The batsman look right in plumb, going for a slog sweep. The ball hitting the back foot of the pad. And a fair call coming from the experienced umpire. And Rohit striking in his final ball of his spell. 
After the completion of five over, scores on 33, Moata Moro. For the loss of uh, four wicket, uh, a 24 as partnership which was built between Ashok and Shokat. As soon as Ashok got departed in the same over, we have seen Shokat getting out and now uh, another two wickets falling in the bowling of uh, Rohit. Getting rid of two important wickets uh, of Keshav and uh, Ravi. Now we have a new batsman, uh, Dhanu. Prakash once again uh, continuing his bowling spell, uh, bowling the over number uh, six for his side and the bowling the second over of his spell. Scores on 33, still 12 balls. They need to score uh, another 12 to 15 runs, but not giving their wicket quite freely. See, look at the way how the batters are going for the unnecessary big hit, giving uh, the wickets quite easily to the opponent. Uh, in the last uh, nine runs, five wickets have been fallen. This is not a great sign for the batters of uh, SRFC Kolya because you are playing an eliminator round. Rina will qualify the qualifier too the losers will make their way back to their individual resident now we have a new batsman damo the lefty batsman A slightly changes in the field because the lefty batsman Dambo is on the strikers end uh, facing the bowling of Prakash. This was a loser one, the fielder underneath, and that's another catch taken. Could you believe it? The ball could have been anywhere out of the park. Even the non striker batsman Dando could not believe that was a loser one bowled by Prakash. When the ball was delivered, definitely. The heart of uh, Prakash was on his mouth. He knew that he has bowled uh, a loser ball. Uh, and the passman uh, missing it, getting an edge. A nice piece of uh, fielding uh, done by the fielders of uh, Nitya Levin. Uh, it was not so easy to take that catch, but the fielder Zakir uh, taking an important catch. Uh, there's another wicket fall in uh, wicket number six. In it is a new batsman. So two back-to-back -back wickets coming in this over, bowled by Prakash. What an excellent uh, bowler he is. Uh, he is the wicket-taking bowler for uh, Nitya Levin. And that's a hat trick uh, coming uh, in the bowling of Prakash. In it, the playing a lose it, uh, finding the feeder in the cover position. That's another loser one board. I don't know what's happening out in the middle by the batters of. Uh, they got into a good start out now. Uh, as soon as the first wicket has been fallen, uh, the wickets are fumbling. They're giving uh, their wickets quite freely, gifting the wickets like uh, normally what we do by giving a gift. Uh, this is not a great sign from the team uh, SRFC Masters Kulya. Santos is a new batsman now. We'll be facing the bowling of uh, Prakash. What an excellent over uh, 33 for 7. And this time uh, going for uh, the paddle sweep. There was an off an appeal from uh, the bowler. Uh, might be the edge of the bat. Uh, then to the pad. Uh, that might be the reason why the batsman is safe in his batting crease. Uh,
Straight to the field again, we see another run out, but at the end, the batsman is in his body crease. Finally, a run coming, it is over, what an over. Five balls, just a single conceded. Three important wickets have been picked by Prakash. Kunia has set the bucket of the over number six. Aggregate Bachui over number six. Last ball. And handles with the dotted one. Wanted to play a late cut, missing it completely. What an excellent two overs bowled by Prakash for his side. It's a strong comeback by the bowlers. At one stage, we thought that uh, the target could have been above 50 plus. The way how Ashok uh, started the innings for his team, uh, along with uh, Shaukat. Uh, when those two wickets uh, got departed, uh, the rest of the batsmen uh, could not do anything for their side. At the score of 34, now they are. Uh, Seven down. So let's see who's going to be the bowler to bowl the last over. I request the bowlers uh, of uh, Nitya Eleven, please carry on with the game. Uh, you cannot waste much time out in the middle. Request the two umpires. Please look into it. If you feel that the team have completed their 30 minutes, you can go ahead and give the decision as a penalty in the final over where we can get an extra feeder inside the 30 yard circle. The first time in this uh, tournament we are seeing uh, a chain of bowling uh, coming from the Nitya Levin uh, with the see number three, Zakir uh, will be bowling the final over and that's a time out, that's a fair decision coming from the umpire. So can we have one extra feeder inside the 30 yard circle? So we have got a fielder inside the 30 yard circle onto the square umpire position and here's the first ball and inside is a ball raising quickly onto the short final position a single has been taken 35 on the scorecard the batsman coming down the track uh, but there is a field in long off uh, they should be only satisfied with a single first two ball two runs conceded uh, final four ball uh, of this uh, first innings uh. and this time far away from the obstacle wide call given by the umpire one more extra adding to the total score jumping to 37 uh, the final over the under process. Konea Naku is at the back of the final over. Mwata Eela Ke 37 for 7. And this time going for the reverse sweep. Uh, the wicket keeper hardly misses. Uh, there was a chance for a stump. Uh, the ball coming uh, well in uh, into the the legs of the the batsman, getting some confusion for the wicket keeper. Uh, there was a chance for the run out too, but the fielder uh, behind the stump that is Prakash missing it completely. Once again, batsman coming down the track. Uh, this time, fair call coming from the umpire. That's another wide. As soon as the batsman coming down the track, uh, and the ball has been delivered. Uh, slightly down the leg. A wide signal given by the umpire.
and this time uh, drives it onto the long opposition for another single. That's what the captain want from the bowler uh, Zakir. Uh, just ball uh, wicket to wicket. Uh, let the runs come in the bat rather than bowling uh, wides. Still uh, three to go. Final two more balls remaining. Konea Yerode Setabaki. And this time, that's a loser one. That's been dispatched out of the park. One bounce out of the boundary coming in the back of uh, Dando. What a hit. Uh, that was a loser one. Uh, the feeder was inside the yard circle and he doesn't miss it, those kind of a loser one ball to his pass. Uh, he was looking forward a big hit uh, and finally getting in the ball number five in the last over. With the help of that boundary, the score was on to 43. Final ball. And this time the batsman coming down the track and the batsman says that no, this has to depart in a form of a stump. That's a wicket coming in the final ball of the innings. At the score of 43, they have lost 8 wicket. A target of 44 has been given to Nithya Levin to win this game and qualify to the qualified 2.
So chasing it on to 44 we have the two openers. Uh, Charan on the striker's end and Ganesh on the non-striker's end. Dhano will be starting the proceeding. And straight away, Charan getting off the mark with a single onto the deep. Looking for the second round. Some confusion between the both batsmen. Yes, no, yes, no. At the end, a decision. Is pending uh, whether Ganesh was sold on his bad increase, but he looks confident. Uh, but let's wait for the apart decision coming from the third umpire. And now the signal coming from the third umpire, the batsman Ganesh is safe in his bounty increase. Yes, 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 yes. The decision going under the favor of the batsman. A very first ball, some confusion between the both batters at the end. The batsman is safe in his bounty increase on the non strikers and Ganesh. Running for the second run, taking a risk which is not needed at this point. Is this the beginning of the NX chasing a target of 44? The runs are two for no loss. At this time, driven it down the track onto the cover position for another single. So the first two ball three runs have been conceded. Pop has been introduced. Chasing a target of 44. If they try to get some quick runs in the first two overs of the power play, and then the remaining runs can be scored quite nicely. This time, going for the switch hit uh, onto the point position uh, for another single. Every ball uh, which has been bowled so far by the baller Dano runs have been conceded uh, coming on to the bat of the both batsmen. Uh, this time very close to the leg stick, going for a big sweep, uh, missing it completely. What an excellent uh, ball it was. Uh, even the batsman was stunned enough. Uh, wicket keeper looks stunned enough. Uh, still, uh, the power play has been introduced in this uh, game. We have another seven more balls remaining. Another single taken now. A play a late cut onto the short third man position for another single. The tall man Charan knows in and out of uh, this ground. He does his daily practice in this ground. So he knows that which direction the wind is going to blow. This time, uh, Money, the fielder, missing it completely. The ball was formally hit uh, at the end. Uh, there is a backup on the deep. Uh, still, the batsmen were able to cross for another two runs. Uh, With the help of that two runs over number one coming to an end, the score remains on seven for no loss. Chasing a target of 44. Now the question is, they need another 37 odd runs. 36 ball, 37 to get. They just need to keep their wickets in hand. Runs will automatically flow. Look into the gap, uh, convert the singles into doubles. Some extra runs will be given by the the bowler uh, with a couple of whites. So you just need to keep your wicket and and uh, so here's the over number uh, two with the jersey number eight at his back, uh, Ashok, the senior bowler uh, coming uh, right arm around the wicket, bowling to the tall man of. Uh, Anitya Levin. The winner of this match will qualify for the qualified two. 
will be batting against Hoysala Babagate. Played towards the long gone Ravi, the bowler. The feet are doing a work on the deep. A single conceded, one more on adding to the total. Scum was on to eight. The leggy bowler coming down the wicket this time. There is an appeal, a confident appeal, but umpire and more. Batsman Ganesh going for a big stock sweep. Might be the ball uh, drifting uh, outside the obstacle. Uh. Asha, third time. Once again, uh, driven it uh, down the ground uh, onto the long run position uh, for another single. Uh. And this time going for the big hit. There is a field underneath. And the catch has been taken. The batsman challenge stunned as soon as he has offered that shot. Wanted to play on to the deep in wicket region. But the ball has drifted straight to the long gone. And Ravi doing an excellent workout in the middle. And the catch has been taken. The wicket number one falling in the over number two. At the score of nine, first wicket has been fallen. We have a new batsman uh, walking uh, out in the middle is Abu. That there was a chance if the ball could have been taken by the bowler on his own bowling mark. The batsman on the non strikers end was already down the track. If we'd have collected it, we could have seen another wicket. Ashok himself knows that he has missed a chance. And here's the final ball of the over number two, Korea Seta. And batsman Ashok. And this time, Sharath uh, missing the chance. An attempt was done to take that catch. At the end, uh, the ball popping out of his hand. So after the completion of two overs, score is on 11 for 1. In remaining 30 balls, 33 to get. So Bob has been completed, uh, scores on 11 for 1. And the new bowler Ravi starting uh, with the slow one, uh, the batsman uh, going for a slog sweep, uh, missing it completely. Pressure will be building on to the 
the team Nithya Levin, if they keep repeatedly gets a lot of dotted ball in the innings once again this time the ball kissing the pad but the ball might be slightly wider down the leg a leg bar signal given by the umpire one more extra adding to the total jumping to 12 for one And up we're going for a reverse hit. Uh, an excellent work done by the feeder. Uh, as soon as the shot has been offered uh, towards that direction, uh, the point fielder uh, running quick enough. Uh, and stopping uh, a couple of runs uh, scoring by the open team. Uh, the captain on the other end doesn't matter if the runs are only coming in the form of a single. Uh, here and there, a couple of dot ball uh, will get a pressure back into the batting side. Uh, Every time when we see a dotted delivery, the pressure will be building up. Uh, the score slowly shipping to 14 for one. And this time that's an excellent piece of walking done by the bowler Ravi it is ball wicket to wicket and that's what the bowler needs to do and that was a full respect given by the batsman Abu this time there was a chance for a big hit you miss I hit that was a loser ball sometimes on the loser ball we can find the batsman getting out that was a full cross ball there was a chance for the batsman Abu to clear it on to the onside region where the wind is blowing toward that direction instead of playing on to the onside region going for the switch it with the score of 14 a wicket number two has been fallen still then another 30 odd runs Ipatanako Eseta Muatarana Vashikati. Chobis again the best of these rankings are at her team. Anitya Levin quiz match. Kojit Nikelia order. Qualify order two. Round Kelia qualify on Nikelia. So let's see how uh, these two players, uh, that is uh, Khalil and uh, Ganesh. Uh, Let's see who's going to be the bowler, uh, and the ball has been handed over to Dando, the man who started the opening over for his side. He'll be bowling the the over number four for his side in the second over of his spell. Twenty-four balls, thirty to get. Uh. This time, Dano coming from the other end, uh, coming from the commentator box and to bowl the second over of his spell and he starts with uh, wide. Every extra run uh, will reduce the total for the Nithya Levenda. Equation is 24 balls, 29 to get. Ipatta na kweseta ipatta ombatta run. And this time there is a big appeal, umpire and board. Uh, a leg by signal again by the umpire. The ball uh, dripping uh, down the leg. Uh, and there was a decision coming out of the favor of the batsman. Uh, the Khalil, uh, the new batsman who took an outstanding catches in the NX. Uh, so can he get his uh, team to the victory position? He can bat. Uh, Making room, playing over the cover position, uh, slightly fumbled by the fielder uh, and causing another extra run now. 
Uh, nicely played, nicely driven onto the goal position for another side. Another couple of runs, 18 on the scorecard uh, for the loss of uh, two wicket. Uh, chasing a target of 40. Dando needs to pull uh, wicket to wicket like the way how Ravi did in the last over. Uh, And this time, uh, driven it uh, straight down the ground onto the long off position for another single. If the runs have been scored uh, from the bat, it will not hurt the captain unless the bowler keeps bowling a couple of whites uh, because you need to bowl another extra delivery. This time, going for uh, a slog sweep. But once again, there was enough appeal. Umpire and board. Uh, a leg by signal given by the umpire. Another extra adding to the total score was on to. 20 for 2. So Kone Aru is at the back of the over number four. Another single adding the total score moves on to 20 point final ball of the over number four. Still they need another 23 out of 19 ball. And this uh, once again drifting down the leg. Uh, well, the batsman goes for the second run, but they should be only happy with the single. Uh, another one more run adding to the total uh, coming in the bat of uh, Ganesh. So, after the completion of four overs, score is on 22. It means that 18 ball, 22 to get. Ravi is a new bowler. Once again, coming back to ball the over number five for his side. And he's taking a review for the wide. Umpire says it's a wide ball, but uh, the bowler is confident that the ball was within the, the wide line. And the decision coming from the third umpire, it is a wide ball. So let's continue with the game. Ravi starting with the wide in the over number five. Now the question is uh, 21 to get out of 18 ball.
Ravi once again back to his bowling mark. And this time drifting down the leg. Nicely played by Ganesha onto the deep. Taking an arm of Damo. They know that is a excellent feeder on the deep, but he doesn't have a, a great arm. And that's the reason why once again uh, Ashok changing the fielding, uh, asking uh, Damu to come inside the 30 yard circle and pushing uh, a fielder onto the deep. Another uh, two more runs adding to the total score moves on to 25. The snap played onto the deep, onto the cover position. Once again looking for the second run. And this time some collision between the both the batters uh, Ganesh has to depart in the form of a run out uh, it was formally hit uh, Khalil was not ready to take for the second run because he knew that uh, the feeder was quite quick enough and that too uh, with the strong arm uh, Keshav doing the work that's a big wicket uh, the big fish is back into the ground Ganesh was playing nicely out to the middle uh, at the end uh, he has to depart in the form of a run out the score of 26 the velocity of wicket number three still 18 to get Prakash is a new batsman, uh, but he'll be on the non strikers end. Uh, this time, once again, a, a fake call coming from the umpire. The ball pitching slightly away from the off stick. Another extra added to the total. Uh, the runs are uh, coming quite freely to the, the batting side. The bowlers are bowling a couple of whites. Uh, and this time, Khalil uh, going for the switch at the end. Uh, could not uh, That's a fair decision coming from the umpire. It means that it's a legal delivery. It's a dotted delivery. And this time to went down the track onto the long off position for another single. Score slowly chipping to 27 over number 5 progress. 28 on the scorecard. Chasing a target of 44. Ravi once again back to his bowling mark. And this time played onto the deep wicket region. A message by the fielder and it's out on the deep. Uneven bounce costing a boundary. And that's a well needed boundary coming at the right time in the back of Prakash. What a hit it is. When that boundary this goes on to 32. The feeder on the deep need to stop those kind of a ball. Because the runs are not so huge. If we have stopped that ball, the target could have been a slightly a more to be chased in the next two overs. A single taken uh, to keep the strike in the next over after the completion of five overs scores on 33. It means that Konya under Reseta just uh, 11 to get under uh, Hanatu.
Ashok has been asked to bowl the over number six for his side. Under the seta, under the navshakate. Twelve ball eleven to get. As we have seen in the second day, we have seen a lot of the matches coming on the pressure coming until the last ball. This could be another interesting game. 12 ball, 11 to get. Uh, can we see something coming in this over? Uh, that will get the pressure down. Uh. And this time played widely onto the deep in wicket region. Uh, Bassman will cross for the second run. Khalil is an excellent runner in between the wicket. Uh, quite nicely has taken the second run quite quickly. With that two runs, a score uh, jumping to 35. Uh, just the 9 required out of 11. Going for the reverse sweep. Connecting right in the middle of the bat. Slightly fumbled by the fielder. Will the batsman cross for the second run? But that's an excellent call from Khalil. Most of the time the batsman looking to take a risky single when there is a misfield done by the fielder. But at the end, ending up giving your wicket quite cheaply to the opening team. But this time just a single conceded. And Khalil playing another slog sweep, taking the ball far away from the obstacle, playing onto the onside. Four runs have been conceded already in this over. Still, you have three more left. Nine balls, seven to get. And this time, Ravi the man taking an excellent catch. Uh, going for a big hit, uh, which was not needed at this point when you had only seven to get uh, out of nine ball uh, that's a big wicket prakash giving his wicket quite cheaply he played an excellent knock uh, the team uh, 11 wanted prakash to stay till the end uh, since the game is not over kone ayerude setabaki end to ball eight run eight ball seven to get uh, and we have a new batsman uh, girish the lefty batsman uh, The lefty batsman uh, was just walked in. Uh, can we get another extra feeder inside 30 yard circle to get a pressure? That's what the captain needs to think uh, when you have to defend only seven uh, out of eight. Uh, new batsman, couple of dot ball, but not this kind of a ball uh, far away outside the obstacle. Wide signal given by the umpire. Now the question is eight ball, six to get. And this time, luckily the ball did not carry to the fielder onto the final leg position. One ball straight to the fielder. If the batsman would have left the ball, once again the umpire would have raised his both the hands. Final ball of the over number six. Kodias, the Baki scores on 39 for four. And Khalil drives it onto the deep onto the cover position to keep the strike for the next over. So over number six coming to an end. Scores on 40. Nalvatta ke naku. Konaya Arisita Nakura. That one boundary had changed the game for the team SRFC. If the fielder would have stopped it, then we could have seen uh, at least seven to eight runs to be defended uh, by the bowler uh, Shaukat, the man uh, known for his uh, wicket-taking skill. Uh, we have seen him doing it in a similar fashion in the last game, uh, picking uh, at least three wickets in the final over. Uh, now, uh, he has only had to defend four. Uh, but still, uh, can he get an extra fielder uh, onto the uh, mid off position? Uh, the matchman going for the reverse sweep, uh, leg bar signal given by the umpire. Uh, still, I cannot uh, find some extra fielder inside the 30 yard circle when you have only to defend uh, three runs. Uh, a lefty. Uh, Batsman Kishore on the strikers and uh, will be facing the bowling of uh, Shaukat. 
a strong offside fielder. Uh, this time the ball pitching slightly down the leg. Another a leg by signal given by the umpire. Another two more runs. Uh, adding it is over. Uh, score was over to 42. Just another two to get out of four balls. Now can you get all your fielders inside the yard circle? You have to defend only two. Now Koizita here to run out Four balls, two runs. And Khalil going for a big hit, getting an outside edge. Well done by the feeder. Uh, was standing slightly wide, is on to the third slip, stopping the ball, raising on to the boundary. The match is level, and the batsman going for the big hit, uh, finding uh, one bounce to the feeder on to the long on position. With that, that's a victory for the Nitya Levin, and they have uh, qualified for the next round uh, to battle against uh, the team Hoysala Babukate which will be like a semi-final game that match winner uh, will be playing against the uh, Kings Qatar in the final so let's see which team will be in the final either it could be Hoysala Babukate or Nitya Levin so no hesitation to call the man of the match in this game It goes to Prakash of uh, Nitya 11 for his outstanding bowling performance, picking five wickets in his two overs and getting some crucial runs in the end. Prakash of uh, Nitya 11.
ಎರಡು ತಂಡದ ಕಪ್ತಾನ I request uh, both the teams, uh, please, uh, Hoysala and uh, Nitya Ilavan, players, please sign uh, your signature in the uh, signature uh, papers.
So qualify to your match between Oisala Babagate versus Nitya Levin, the captain, Subhash Benitos, no hesitation to decide to bowl first. Jakub starting the proceeding, starts with the dotted one. Charan and Ganesh are the two openers. Jakub, uh, second time, and this time far away from the leg sticker. Uh, one plus one adding to the total. Uh, that's a long line of lead ball by Jakub. Uh, the fielder Ranjit should have been a little bit uh, quicker. Uh, we're gonna find uh, the batsman on the non strikers and uh, Charan. Uh, could have been uh, in trouble, uh, but at the end, uh, and this time a batsman uh, has to depart. What an excellent jumping by uh, Shafiq. He knows that Ganesh was down the track uh, while offering that shot. Uh, he could not drag his back foot on time, uh, and the batsman straight away himself. Uh, declaring out uh, without waiting for the umpire decision and walking back to the pavilion that's a big wicket uh, Yakub uh, striking in his first over uh, so far the red is just a two on the scorecard that two coming in the form of an extra and getting rid of the dangerous man Ganesh now we have a new batsman Abu joining the company of Charan So let's see how uh, Abu will carry the innings for his side. Uh, another experienced player uh, walking out in the middle uh, at the wrong time. This time going for the paddle sweep. Uh, that's a direct trade, but the batsman is safe in his batting crease because Chairman is a tall man uh, and he is safe in his batting crease. Uh, Ranjit was a little bit slow to grab the ball, uh, even though the, the ball uh, hitting the stump, but the batsman is safe in his batting crease. Once again, drifting down the leg, coming in the bowling of Yakub. He needs to bowl outside the obstacle uh, or try to bowl wicket to wicket, not down the leg stick. Once again, the ball drifting onto the pads uh, and the batsman uh, playing a nice paddle sweep. Uh, once again, a long line of length bowled by Yakub. That's not the line of length what Yakub needs to do. That's a wrong length, but that gets a benefit for the batsman to score runs quite easily. This time going for the reverse sweep uh, and the ball uh, dripping the, the top of the, the bat and a single conceded to finish the over number one.
and the decision coming from the third pair is a wide so one plus one adding to the total uh, the score moves on to six over number one still in progress still one more ball remaining uh, in the final uh, in the first over of the power play Ali behind the wicket keeper. There was a chance for an out, uh, even if you would have given it uh, straight to the wicket keeper instead of drinking. Uh, that was some confusion between the both batsmen taking unnecessary risky single. Uh, if the ball would have given it to the wicket keeper, we could have seen uh, a run out, uh, and that would be another big wicket. So after the completion of first over, score is on uh, seven for one. Yatish, the city bowler has been introduced to ball the over number two. Drifting down the leg on to the long on position for a single. And this time the ball pitching so far away outside the obstacle wide signal given to the umpire. A couple of runs have been given by the opening team in the form of extras. Uh, I'm going for the reverse sweep. You miss. I hit. That's a big wicket. Uh, no connection in between the bat and pad. The ball uh, drifting uh, in between the two legs. Then kissing the off strike. Uh, Yatish uh, is known for his wicket picking uh, for his side. Uh, and the wicket uh, falling at the right time. Uh, the score of nine. Second wicket has been fallen. Prakash is the new batsman, the man who backed the man of the match in the last game. He is on the batting end. Uh, going further, he was sweep straight away, missing it completely, ending with a dot ball. And this time drifting far away from the leg stick. Why signal given by the umpire? That's another extras. Extras are built in by the bowlers of Hoysala Babugate. Whatever the runs have been scored by Denitya Levin, you have to come out and chase the target. Uh, so you just need to bowl a right line. This time, once again, another wide. Yadi is losing his line length. Another extras. Already four wides have been seen in this over. Uh, the runs are jumping to 12 on the scorecard. Once again, that's another wide. I'm not sure. The captain Subhas, can you have a word with your bowler? You need to bowl wicket to wicket. Uh, this is not the way the bowler needs to do. Uh, drifting down the leg, drifting far away outside the outstrike. Uh, each and every wide ball, you need to re ball it. Uh, this is the power play. You're giving a free runs. And this time, there was a chance for the stump uh, batsman uh, going for the big hit. The ball passing in between the legs, uh, and Shafiq uh, missing it completely. He knows that there was a chance. 
يا تيشا Straight to the baller. That's the line that you need to do. Ball wicket to wicket. Final ball remaining. Konya won this at the baki. And the final ball has been hammered on to the deep for a single to keep the strike in the next row. After the completion of two overs, scores on 14 for two. Out of 14, uh, most of the runs are being given by the the bowlers quite cheaply in a form of extras. So let's carry on with the game. Uh, you need to finish your allotted seven hours in 30 minutes. If you waste time, it will be a costly as in the last over because you need to get an extra feeder inside the 30-yard circle. Uh, Shafiq, the man, uh, who back the man of the match in the first game, uh, is been asked to bowl the over number three. And drifting straight. Uh, and the batsman giving full respect. Uh, playing defensively. A front foot defense straight to the baller. And this time high in the top edge. And the catch has been put on by uh, Shafiq. Could not believe that Shafiq uh, dropping that catch. There was a chance, a uh, content ball. Uh, but still, uh, Shafiq has a confidence that he can get rid of Charan in this over. Uh, let's wait and watch. He has four more balls remaining. Uh, and this time, uh, Ali underneath, uh, and he doesn't drop those kind of uh, catches, even though he had to make a long, long way. But in the end, uh, the batsman Charan has to do but he already got a life, uh, could not utilize much on that uh, life given to him in this uh, over. Uh, this is not a great sign for the team Nithya Levin. Uh, they're losing their wickets in the regular interval. Uh, all the three bowlers which has been introduced by the captain Subhash, uh, they have uh, picked a wicket uh, in their overs. Uh, we've seen uh, Yako picking the wicket but bowling a couple of extras in that over. Uh, Yatish also picking an important wicket of Abu but bowling a lot wide. But in this over, Yako, I mean uh, Shafiq uh, had a chance. Uh, he had put down, but in the very next ball, getting rid of Charan. Khalil, the new batsman, uh, joining the company of Prakash, was on the no strikers, and still the score remains on 14. And that's another important wicket. Look at the way how uh, delighted Khalil going for a slog sweep in the very first ball, the ball drifting well in. You miss, I hate. Uh, what a delivery. That's an unbelievable delivery ball by uh, the bowler uh, Shafiq. Uh, he knows that Khalil uh, is a dangerous batsman. Uh, this is not a good sign uh, for the team. Uh, Nitya Levin. The ball coming well in. Uh, playing a, a lose it. Ending with losing a wicket. Uh, A new batsman uh, 
joining the company of Prakash and this time uh, drifted uh, straight to the cover position on the deep uh, Kishore is the batsman getting off the mark with a single with the help of that one run the score is on 15 for forward uh, what an excellent overball by Shafiq just a uh, one run up by King uh, two important wicket uh, yes Shafiq final time it is over number three And this time, uh, playing a uh, back foot, the ball uh, just getting an outer edge uh, onto the gully position to keep the strike in the next over. After the completion of four, three overs, goes on uh, 16 for four. Sixteen for four. Jakob has been asked to ball the second over of his spell coming from the commentator box and uh, he'll be bowling to Prakash that was a close one uh, at the last moment the batsman uh, playing a back foot onto the square leg region uh, for a single uh, inside the 30 yard circle uh, Ashraf the man doing the work uh, And this time the ball drifting well and the batsman Kishore missing it completely. That's for the line of length, uh, Jakub needs to bowl. Ball uh, wicket to wicket. Uh, do not go for an extra pace uh, which caused some extra runs in the form of uh, whites. Uh, and that's a line of length you need to bowl. Uh, some confusion. Uh, the ball has been drifted straight to the feet in the cow position. Prakash straight away going for the single uh, at the last moment. Uh, Changing his mind and coming back to his batting crease on the non strikers, and uh, some confusion between the two players. Uh, and this time, going for the big hit, there is a man underneath. Ali once again uh, taking another catch. What an excellent catch taken by Ali. That's the second time he has taken an excellent catch. It's not so easy to judge under the lights uh, because the sunlight is uh, raising straight to his eyes. Uh, that's another wicket. Uh, wicket number five off of the side or into the dugout at the score of just 17 on the board. Uh, So after the completion of uh, over number uh, four scores on 19 for five. Yeah. What an excellent over bowl by uh, Jakob. Uh, and now uh, once again definitely Shafiq will be doing the proceeding for the over number uh, five for his side.
Once again taking a risky single now. Luckily the ball did not kiss the stump on the North striker side. We could have seen a wicket falling of Prakash at the wrong time. The score still remains on 20. Third time uh, the ball is changing his guard coming uh, around the wicket to the lefty batsman. And this time uh, the batsman uh, going for the slog say Banampa says the height was a factor uh, that was the only reason uh, it was not being just as a leg before uh, Shafiq uh, this time going for the big head getting a top edge uh, a slightly fumble by the wicket keep for Ashraf uh, and the meanwhile the batsman have crossed for a single uh, This time drifting on to the deep, uh, Jakob the man with the batsman cross for the second run uh, and they had an ample of time to complete that uh, second run, nicely played uh, on to the deep uh, in between the two feeders, uh, Jakob had a long long way to stop that. Uh, this time going for the reverse sweep uh, and straight to the feeder that's another important breakthrough Prakash getting out in the final ball of the over number five once again uh, Shafiq striking for his team uh, what a baller he is uh, in the last two overs uh, has picked the wicket uh, when the team wanted uh, desperately from him so after the completion of four years score is on 23 for six Ippata Murake Aru Prem has been asked to bowl the over number uh, six coming uh, over the wicket, uh, drifting down the leg and the ball racing quickly to the boundary. That's not the line Alan you need to do. This is the bad start for the bowler Prem. Uh, straight away drifting down the leg. Uh, once when you time it right to the middle of the bat, you cannot stop it because the feeder is inside the 30 yard circle. Uh, a long line a leg bowled by uh, Prem uh, resulting with the boundary. Much needed boundary coming uh, for the team, uh, coming at the bat of uh, Girish. And this time there is a chance for an out. Uh, Prem feels that uh, the batsman is short, uh, but let's wait for the third umpire decision. And the decision coming from the third umpire that's out and the batsman uh, Girish uh, has to depart in the form of a run out. As soon as the shot has been offered, uh, it has been hit straight to the captain of uh, Hoysala Babagate. Now the wicket number seven has been fallen uh, at the score of uh, 27. Uh, Percy is the new man. A bicycle signal given by the umpire. Uh, and this time, uh, Percy uh, playing towards the long off region uh, for another single coming in this over uh, score moves on to 29 over number six in progress. Konya Yerde Setabaki of the 
over number six. Once again, drifting down the leg. Uh, that's another extra. It means that out of 30 runs, definitely around uh, 10 runs are being given freely by the bowlers in a form of whites. And this time, Rashid underneath. That's another wicket. Rohit has to depart. Wicket number eight falling at the score of 20 after the completion of 5.5 balls. Each and every batsman who have walked out in the middle, uh, not trying to score runs for your team, uh, and that too, it is in the a big match. That's a qualifier match. Uh, the team Nitya Levin are just uh, taking it lightly and giving uh, an easy win uh, to the opening team. Uh, anything above 40, 45 runs could have been defendable target, but anything less than 35 which will be an easy task for the, the batters of uh, Hoysala Babagote. Zakir is a new man with the jersey number three. will be facing the final ball of frame. And this time played wide history onto the cover position with the batsman cross for the second run. A slight fumble by Ali. Normally we don't see those kind of fumbles field. At the end, uh, two runs have been added to the total. After the completion of six overs, score is on 32 for eight. Uh, so let's see who's going to bowl the final over. Will it be Ali or the captain? Uh, and they have decided uh, to go with Ali to bowl the last over. Uh, so final uh, six balls of this innings, uh, but once again uh, they have made the mind uh, captain uh, taking uh, the charge to ball the last over. That's uh, the great sign coming from the captain. Uh, even he's an excellent bowler. Uh, we just need to ball wicket to wicket. Keep a straight line of length. Uh, let the batsman do a mistake of going for uh, an unnecessary hit. Uh, you need to ball wicket to wicket. Uh, did not go for an extra pace. Subhash, right arm around the wicket, passing the umpire. And he starts with the dot ball, the captain. Taking a charge to ball the final over and starts with the auto delivery. And the second time the batsman, Percy going for the reverse sweep. Yatish the man running behind the ball uh, onto the gully position. A single has been taken finally with that one run. The score chipping to 33 on the board. 33 for 8. That's an excellent piece of bowling. Look at the way Harvard Zabash is bowling. Uh, that's a line of length he needs to do. Just ball slightly outside the obstacle. Uh, middle and off. And this time that was a, a full draw ball. Luckily for the bowler. Uh, if it was slightly over the waist, then the umpire could have called it as a no ball. But this was drifting down. Uh, downwards uh, the batsman could have gone for a big hit onto the onside region uh, but getting an edge uh, this time uh, driven it in between the two field of the ball raising quickly and that's a welcome boundary well needed boundary coming at the right time in the the ball number five uh, subhash is unhappy between the two fielders uh, rashid and prem are the man onto the deep uh, they should have stopped it at least uh, the two runs could have been saved Six runs conceded in this over. Final ball remaining. And the final ball has been driven straight down the track onto the long on. And this time another two more runs taken. The throw should have been onto the bowler's end, but instead of the ball coming to the striker's end. So it means that 
The team on Nithya 11 have set a decent target. Uh, 40 on the scorecard. 41 is the target to be chased uh, at 42 balls. So it means that it's just a ball to ball game. Nalvatta Yerudu Yaseta, Nalvatta Vandura Navashakade. 42 41. All a disaster start for Hoysala uh, Babukate, the man uh, in form batsman Shafiq once again getting out for a golden duck, once again getting out in the very first ball in the previous game in the qualified one, getting out in the first ball, this time once again, what an excellent catch taken behind this time, Charan bowling slightly far away outside the off stick and the batsman himself uh, judging uh, that he has nicked the bat and excellent catch taken uh, umpire we're not sure about it uh, whether uh, the batsman have nicked it from this angle even we were not sure but the batsman uh, showing his uh, sportsman spirit uh, and uh, getting himself uh, 
and out and now we have a new batsman Ali now the pressure is under the team Hoysala Babagate they have to chase a target of 41 41 ball 41 to get Ali the man taking a guard and he'll be facing the morning of Charan and this time nicely played uh, and there was a chance of her now to the feeder missing it completely the batsman Ali as soon as the shot has been offered he was on the quick fashion uh, taking a single but Sumas was not ready to uh, go for a run uh, the misfield by the fielder Costing a single. Now we have uh, the captain Subhas. The captain needs to play a captain's knock. Just take time. Be there. And they start going for a big hit. Uh, Percy underneath. And the catch has been uh, put down. Abu dropping the catch. He was on the long opposition. Some confusion between the two feeders. This is not the way Subhas needs to do. Already a wicket has been fallen. We know that he loves to go for a big hit. Uh, but not at this time. Uh, this is a big game, my dear friend. You need to be there. If you need to get your way into the victory position, you need to play a captain's knock. At this time, uh, driven it onto the pad, onto the long on position ball, uh, raising quite quickly. At the end, uh, the battle won by the batsman. Three feet behind the ball. Uh, at the end, uh, a boundary has been conceded. Uh, look into the gap and play a shot. The catch which has been put on what by Abu. Could it be a costliest one we have seen? As soon as the catch has been put down, the very next ball, a boundary has been hit. Now, the, the captain, Subhas, can he target towards the square leg position? Because there is a protection kept on the mid wicket. He needs to play on to the umpass direction. And this time I played uh, on to the long opposition. Abu once again had a lot of work to do. But this time they're only satisfied with the single. With that single, this comes on to eight. That's the second warning given to the batsman. Uh, so uh, please make sure that you do not run in front of the pitch. Uh. And nice played uh, to the gully position. Kishore should have been quick enough to take that ball because uh, Subhash is not an excellent runner in between the wicket. Uh, you need to get a pressure onto the batsman. There could have been a chance of a run out uh, if the fielder Tirish was quick enough. So after the completion of first over, scores on 9 for 1. Let's carry on with the game. We have a big final after this. Uh, the second order of the power play will be bowled by Abu. He'll be bowling to Ali. The two feeders kept on to the long on and deep in wicket region. Ali is quite strong enough onto the square leg position, long leg and fine leg. He will target towards that direction. If anything outside the obstacle, the ball can be drifted over the mid off position. This time. Uh, Wanted to play a late cut, uh, missing it completely straight to the wicketkeeper. Uh, 
Even the singles will work, even if they try to score uh, runs in the form of singles. That will get their team into the victory position. It's the big final uh, to play once again against the Kings Qatar. There is an appeal, umpire and mode. The ball uh, drifting uh, down the leg uh, and umpire says it's a not out. Around the wicket, uh, the ball uh, coming around the wicket. It's very difficult to judge the batsman as uh, like before. Now the captain having a word. Ali normally doesn't play those kind of uh, a knock for his side. Uh, he's looking quite nervous out in the middle. Uh, just watch the ball. Uh, you have a uh, plenty of gap. Uh, look into the gap. Convert that into singles or double. Uh, And this time, once again, playing the pad sweep. Uh, the ball kissing the pad, resulting with the uh, leg boy. The score moves on to 10. Still 31 to get. Uh, 33 ball, 31 to get. And not hard signal given by the umpire. Huge appeal for the stumping. Uh, the batsman surpass. Trying to go for a big hit. Uh, missing it completely. A fake call coming from the umpire. Uh, a not hard signal given by the umpire. Uh, Excellent overball by Ampu. Just a single run conceded so far. Runs are not pouring in the second hour of the power play. Still they have two more balls. Can Subhash target to the square leg? But he has played straight to the feet in the cover position. It's a hard chance for the, the tall man. But an attempt done by the feeder. Just another single adding to the total. Still 30 to get out of 31 ball. Mohata Mundi Sita Mohata Ranna Vashakate And this time I played on to the square leg region Long work done by Kishore But still he have made an ample of time By saving at least two runs for his side With that two runs score was on to 13 on the scorecard after the completion of two overs. 14 after the completion of uh, two overs. The score is on 14 no, 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 no. for one on this go card. So it means that in the remaining 30 ball, 27 to get. Girish is the baller.
And this time down the track, one bounce onto the boundary rope, or whether it will be cut out by the feeder. An excellent save done by the feeder, at least saving two runs. Ashok the man. It was firmly head right in the middle of the bat, in between the two feeders. The ball raising quickly, but at the end, well saved. At least the two runs have been saved by the feeder. With that, two runs is go jumping to 16. Subhash so just uh, watching the gap uh, and trying to hit towards that direction. Once again, formally ahead uh, uh, towards the long off for another single. The captain uh, needs to keep his mind cool. Uh, we know that he is an excellent player. Uh, the partnership uh, needs to be built. 17 run partnership. That's an inside edge, the ball kissing the pad and drifting towards the point position for a quick single. First three ball, four runs have been considered, score is on 18, 25 to get. And this time there is an edge and the ball falling short in front of the wicket keeper, an outer edge, still two to go. And this time I played on to the, the deep point region for another two runs adding to the, uh, the belt of uh, Subhash. Uh, this is the slightly inexpensive overboard by uh, Kishore. Runs are coming quite nicely. 20 on the board, just another 21 to get 25 balls remaining. Ippatha Aidwaseta Ippatha Vandu Avashavate. This time uh, drives it, driven it uh, onto the long gone. Uh, look at the sound uh, coming in the bat of uh, Subhash. Uh, except one uh, miss hit. Uh, the life was given after that. He has played a sensible innings. Uh. So, after the completion of four hours, goes on 21. Uh, 24 balls, 20 to get. Uh. Can we have a drinks man for uh, the captain? Subhash is looking quite tired out in the middle, uh, but still uh, says that uh, I'm still fine. Let's carry on with the game. He knows that this is an important game. In the remaining 24 balls, they just need 20 to get. The run rate is exactly seven runs per over. And now uh, we have the magical bowler, the man who bat the man of the match in the last game. Prakash uh, picking five wickets in the last game. Subhash needs to just look and watch the bowling of Prakash. Do not play an unnecessary hit. And this time the ball drifting slightly outside the obstacle, going for a big head, going for a big drive. Ends with the dotted one. A single taken, no, no, one more and adding to the total score was on to 22. Prakash third time. And this time far away down the leg, uh, a wide signal given by the umpire waiting for the decision. This time the ball kissing. Uh, far away outside the leg stick uh, and umpire says it's a wide, it's a big wide. And uh, the fielder uh, throwing the stumps uh, and getting some extra run in the form of uh, an overthrow. Another two more runs adding to the total. Prakash once again uh, to Subha. This time, uh, driven it. Uh, was the uh, long opposition just for another single uh, sensible batting 25 and partnership has been built between these two batsmen they have 
Uh, plenty of wickets left. Uh, just another 16 to get. Uh, and sensible batting a late cut uh, onto the gully position just for another single. Uh, definitely, Subhash looks much tired out in the middle. Uh, just one game, then your team will be qualified to the big final. And Shabazz playing on to the five leg region and the ball will definitely race to the boundary. What a hit coming from the batsman, Subhash. Straight away before the ball has been delivered, uh, making a room, uh, going across the off stick and playing towards the five leg. Uh, Still we have one more ball remaining in this over and the score was on to 30 over number 4 in progress. What a shot it is uh, by the captain Subhash. Was come as an opener, was still there, the plenty of work remaining, just another 11 to get. Uh, to not give you a wicket quite cheaply to the open inside, uh, just be there till the end. Uh, this time going for the reverse sweep, but missing it completely, even the wicket keeper misses it. Uh, and a single run has been conceded, uh, 1 plus 1 has been added, umpire says that's a wide, far away from the off stick. Uh, from this angle, uh, that's a fair decision uh, because the ball was uh, too far away. Another two more runs adding to the total. Uh, and this comes on to 32. 32 runs partnership. Uh, what a partnership. Uh, and this time going for an appeal. Umpire and Molder. So after the completion of four overs, scores on 32. An 18 ball, just another 9 more runs required. I request the 12th man of Faisal Babugate. Can you just enter the ground immediately? So Charan uh, has been asked to ball the, the second over of his spell, 18, 18 ball, 9 to get. And this time uh, that's uh, well catch taken by the fielder. Uh, once again we have seen uh, a top catch uh, taken in the same direction. We have seen one more catch in the last evening taking into that direction. Uh, the wicket of Naveed uh, falling uh, in the similar fashion but uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, but Subhash has done his part for his side. What an excellent knock for his team. Uh, finally, a 32 runs partnership has been broken by Charan once again. 20 runs coming in the back of uh, the captain Subhash. Uh, Mr. Perfect. Uh, we have uh, Rashid, the new batsman. Uh, 17 ball 9 to get
Rashid straight away getting off the mark with a single. A bicycle going by the umpire, another two more runs adding into the team total in this over. This score is on 34, just another seven to get. And this time the ball drifting down the leg stick with all that from this angle, the wicket would have been fallen. But at the end, the batsman rushes to see if it is about to increase. The ball coming well in, and the batsman missing it. This time, Played on to the deep on this Kralak region just for another single. Just a one big hit to finish the game. Can Ali hit a six and get his team to the victory? We have seen him hitting a six towards the, the commentator box, but this time he doesn't want to take a sing. He doesn't want to take any risk, just a single take. And with that, the score moves on to. 36, 100 to qualify themselves into final. Hundred Asita Aidran Navashikati and Abu will be bowling the the over number six. It means that uh, they need to score only around two point five runs. It means that in an over uh, even if they score three runs, the final over uh, they have to decide uh, to get only two runs. Uh, but they don't want to wait till the final over. Uh, Ali will try to finish the game in this over. Uh. And as they play, uh, slightly misfield by the fielder. Uh, definitely the batsman will cross for another extra run. Uh, Rushing is quite quick enough. Uh, one run completed, second run completed, and that's the third run. Uh, three runs have been taken in the first ball of Abu because of the misfield done by the fielder on the gully position. Uh, and getting uh, uh, three more runs adding to the total. Uh, And that's the score has been leveled. Uh, just another one run required uh, to and uh, Ali finishing uh, the game with the boundary. And with that, uh, the team uh, Hoysala Babugata have uh, made themselves to qualify to the big final once again. Uh, so they will be battling against uh, the Kings. Uh, Qatar in the big final. Uh, once again, uh, the two teams will be battling in the final. They have battled in the qualifier match. Uh, now, once again, they'll be battling in the big final. Congratulations, team. Uh, so, there's no hesitation. We have two container uh, to be the man of the match. Either it could be Shafiq or Subash. But it goes to the captain of uh, Hoysala Babugate, that is Subash. I request Mr. Subash to come forward and uh, collect your man of the match reward.
So the two openers smoking out in the middle is uh, Shafiq and Ali. Shafiq uh, was unable to score runs for his side in the last two games, getting out in the first ball of his NX. Uh, but now this is a big final. Uh, and Aziz will be starting the proceeding. No power play has been introduced in this final game. Uh, so five fielders can be pushed uh, outside the 30 yard circle. So let's see where uh, the five fielders uh, will be kept. Uh, we have already have one fielder on the long run, Tiger Al Taf. Uh, one fielder on the square leg, uh, deep point, uh, long off, uh, and a deep in wicket. Once again, these two teams battling in the big final. In the qualifier round one, Kings Qatar winning in the last ball against Oisala Babagatena once again. The captain Naveen winning the choice elected to bowl first. Here we have the two openers out in the middle. Aziz starting the proceeding. Right arm over the wicket, passing the umpire. And the first ball going for a paddle sweep. At the end, getting an inside edge onto the pad. A single has been taken with that. Shafi gets off the mark in the very first ball. Anything about 30 plus will be a defendable target. This time far away outside the off strike. Uh, Fred call coming from the umpire. White signal given by the umpire. One more extra adding uh, to the team's total, moving up to two. Lifting down the leg, uh, that could be called as another wide. So two back-to-back -back wides coming in the bowling of Aziz. Aziz losing his line of length. Uh, these are some gifted run given to your opening team. You need to ball wicket to wicket. Uh, already runs are pouring for the team. Hoysala Babagote, four on the scorecard. Uh, still uh, five more balls remaining in the first over. Nicely swept uh, out to the deep, out to the long leg. Uh, and the fielder was slow enough uh, and the batsman is safe in his mounting crease uh, what an excellent running between the wicket by the both the batters even though Shafiq was running on the dangerous end uh, the last moment dragging his bat and umpire says the batsman is safe in his mounting crease uh. The first the decision coming as a not out and then uh, no, no, no. umpire referring to the third umpire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this time the third umpire says the batsman has just run out. Uh, so batsman has to depart. Uh, the third umpire called as an out uh, and Shafiq has to depart. Uh, Taking a risk is double run, uh, costing his wicket and Shafiq has to depart uh, in a form of Renard. The first wicket fallen uh, at the score of 5. We have a new batsman, uh, Rashid, uh, joining the company of uh, Ali. The big wicket, the big fish is back into the dugout. Uh. And this time there is an appeal, umpire and board. Uh, the ball uh, drifting slightly outside the off stick. Uh, even Aziz knew that uh, it was pitched slightly in the middle and passing slightly outside the off stick. Uh, a fair call coming from the umpire. Another single earning in the form of a, a leg by. And this time connecting right in the middle of the bat, but there is a protection kept on the deep uh, gully. Avil doing the work. Uh, just a single uh, adding to the total. Uh, Final two more balls remaining. Score is on seven. Konya Yeris at the back.
uh, driven it uh, straight down the ground onto the long off for a single uh, every run is more important for the team Hoysala Babugate they need to get at least 30 plus uh, if they want to win this uh, a big final uh, final ball of the over number uh, one can we see another single coming in the bat of Ali to keep a strike in the next over the ball coming well in uh, from the leg the runs have been scored in a form of like by so after the completion of uh, first over score is on nine for one Umbatta Kewondo final three overs remaining Konea move over Baki Ashraf uh, will be bowling the over number two. Let's carry on with the game. Uh, we know that it's a big final. You shouldn't waste the time. Uh, the time is more important. Uh, you need to follow the time which has been provided for you in the big final. Uh, Ashraf setting the field. Uh, and Ali. Facing for the first time uh, in the big final against the bowling of uh, Ashraf. And going for the reverse sweep, uh, Tiger Alta behind the ball. Uh, and he misses it at the end. Uh, finally stopping the ball. Uh, an attempt was done. Uh, we know that most of the players. Uh, in the both the teams uh, have kept a uh, rosa that's only one thing uh, it would be quite difficult for the the players uh, to play their cricketing game uh, but still they love the game and that's the reason why we have seen uh, the players uh, playing uh, even though they are fasting uh, still uh, showing their skill uh, out in the middle uh, and outer edge uh, a single taken uh, Every run has been scored. Uh, has been cheered by the uh, dugout of the team Hoysala Babugate. They know that this is a big final. Uh, the two top teams uh, from the both the pools are battling into the final. Uh, eight teams have been the part of this tournament. At the end, uh, the top two teams. Uh, one is Hoysala and one is Kings. And this time, uh, the fielder underneath Avil takes a simple catch. Uh, that's a big wicket uh, Rashid going for a big hit finding the feeder on the long on Still, uh, we don't see the sign of the captain, Subash, the man who backed the man of the match in the previous game. Uh, he should have uh, promoted himself uh, in the top of the batting nine up to get some quick runs for his side. Uh, but now we have a new batsman, uh, Jakob. Uh, over number two, under progress. Uh, Ashraf striking in his over. Uh, Jakob taking the guard from the umpire. Uh, And here comes Ashraf, morning to Yaqub. Going for the big hit straight away, missing it completely. The ball coming well in. Uh, Konea Yerudis at the baki of the over number two. Score still remains on Tuval. Uh, even if they would have taken uh, singles in each and every ball, uh, they could have got a decent target to be defended. But this time, going for the river sweep. Uh, there is a man behind, the uh, tiger roaring. Uh, Stopping the ball. Uh, meanwhile, the batsman have crossed for a quick single. One more and adding to the total. Uh, score moves on to 13 for 2. Final ball of the over number 2. The 
the deep point fielder has been asked to come inside the 30 yard circle and uh, a short third man has been pushed back onto the boundary rope uh, a good thinking by the bowler Ashtaf uh, so can we see early switching around uh, and this time uh, there is a chance for an out if it's a direct hit uh, but the batsman is safe in his mount increase uh, one more and adding to the total in the form of a bye after the completion of uh, two over scorers on 14 Kuneya Hanneru Sitabaki for this big final of the first innings. 14 for 2. Let's see the remaining two mile balls. What will be the target set by Hoysala Babakate? Either 25 to 30 runs or can we see the bowlers of Kings Kuthar resting them less than 25 runs? So let's see who's going to be the bowler number three. Let's carry on with the game. Who's going to be the new bowler? And the over number three has been asked to bowl by Latif. Uh, will be bowling the, the over number three for his side. The runner is exactly seven runs per over. If they carry in the similar fashion, the score uh, will end up at around 28 plus, uh, which could be a chaseable target in the big final. But always uh, chasing will be a pressure for the team. If they lose their top batsman in the quick fashion, uh, then the rest of the batsmen uh, will struggle to get their team into the victory position. But cricket is a funny game. We have seen in the last couple of games the team winning in the final ball. We do not want to watch those kind of matches in the big final. Latif giving a room, played onto the deep point. Awil doing the rest of the work. He is an excellent fielder. Throughout the tournament he has done his part. But at least at the end just a one catch which was put down by him. But still the team made themselves into the final batsman uh, Jakob going for an aggressive hit onto the the gully position because the feeder is pushed widely towards the cover position on the deep this time coming down the track uh, finding the feeder uh, Sutter doesn't make any mistake and there's another wicket uh, Jakob uh, has to depart uh, just a one run conceded in this over number uh, three so far three balls have been bowled every dot ball uh, will get a pressure for the team Hoysala Babakate and of the captain making his way out to the middle uh, it'll be facing the remaining nine balls of the innings uh, still uh, they have nine balls to score uh, around uh, 10 to 15 runs And uh, Subhash finding the feeder. Avil taking a second catch. Uh, Subhash could not believe uh, room was given to play that shot. Uh, whenever he gives his wicket, we always see a smiling face on his face. Uh, this is not a good sign from the batters of Voisala Papagate. It's just a four overs game under pressure. Uh, they're giving their wickets quite cheaply to the opening bowlers. Uh, Latif striking once again. So two back-to-back -back wickets uh, have been fallen in this over number three. Runs are not pouring. Scores on 15. Just a one conceded in this over. Konea Yildiz at the park. And we have another man, Ranjit.
Uh, Ranjit getting off the mark, uh, finding the feeder in the cover position. Uh, just a single added to the total. Excellent over. Uh, last ball of the over, number three. Just a two conceded. Two big fish are back into the dugout. Uh, Kodi is at the marky of the over, number uh, three. And Ali going for the river sweep, missing it completely, resulting with the dot ball. What an excellent over ball by uh, Latif. Just uh, two runs after the completion of uh, three overs, Kromos on to 16. So let's see who's going to be the bowler to bowl the last over. Definitely the captain will ask Janardhan to bowl the last over. Uh, or uh, there is an option, we have Noor, but the uh, captain going with uh, Janardhan. So final over with the jersey number 99. We have Jenner then to bowl the last over. He'll be bowling to Ranjit. And drives it uh, down the ground uh, just for another single. Uh, one more and adding to the two discourse. Lodi moves on to 17. Five more balls remaining. Jenner then is the bowler. Uh, was restricted in one of the matches where he had to defend uh, eight runs. Uh, and getting his team into the victory position now. This time, uh, a slightly change in the field once again. Uh, they push the third man fielder uh, onto the deep. Uh, Altaf is the man toward that direction. This time coming down the track. Uh, the catch will be taken by Kishore. Uh, and that's another big wicket. Ali who has come as an opener was struggling out in the middle. Uh, And the captain Naveen, after winning it, was elected to pour first. And their bowlers have done their work. 17 runs on the board, just the five wickets have been fallen. All the bowlers have uh, bowled an excellent spell, have taken the wickets for their side. A lefty batsman Ashraf uh, is walking out to the middle, and now we have two feeders pushed onto the onside region. Towards the mid wicket and long leg, uh, and we have a long on. Uh, So final four balls, uh, Korea Anoko is at the market of this big uh, final of the first session. Uh, no, 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 no. And Asraf uh, finding the feeder onto the deep, uh, on the deep in wicket region. Uh, Aziz is the man doing the work out in the deep, another two more is adding to the total coming in the bat of uh, Ashraf. Uh, still three more balls remaining, can they get at least another three doubles? So another six runs uh, to defend uh, at least a 26 to 27 target will be a tougher one uh, under pressure and this time a played nicely in between the gap once again the batsman will definitely look forward to excellent running between the wickets uh, by the both the batsmen now uh, that's a handy runs coming in the bat of Ashraf uh, last two more balls remaining Kunea Yerdes at the park he scores on 21 Last two balls, uh, which has been faced by Ashda. Four runs have been taken. Uh, still two more balls. Uh. And this time, going for the big hit. Uh, and the batsman, Ashda, has to depart. A nice piece of uh, work done by uh, Ashda behind the stumps, uh, picking another important wicket. Uh.
So final ball remaining and we have a man to face the last ball is Shiprasad. Here's the last ball, uh, the batsman uh, facing the bowling of Chadardhan. Once again coming down the track, the ball driven straight pass. Uh, the bowler towards the long off region uh, and that's a direct hit and the batsman Ranjit has to depart. So final ball, uh, runs have been conceded but the wicket has been fallen for the second one. So after the completion of four overs, score is on 22-23 is the target. Ipatta nakwe seta, ipatta mur randa. 23 to get out of 24 balls. To be the champion of season four. Let's see which team will be the champion. Either Hoysala Babugate can they defend the target of 23 or can we see the Kings Kutar chasing a target of 23. Coming back to the second innings, uh, the last season of this. Uh, and the very first ball, uh, Ashraf getting off the mark, uh, played onto the, the point position on the deep. Uh, one more run adding to the total. Uh, with that, the team uh, opens their account with a single. Uh, Jakob, uh, once again, this time uh, to the same field, uh, towards the same direction. Uh, And this time going for the river sweep, uh, find your field at the gully position. Uh, another single adding to the total. Uh, so first three ball, three runs have been considered by the bowling of Jakob. Each and every ball in this over, the runs have been considered. First four ball, four runs have been taken.
Uh, nicely played. Ashraf doesn't want to take any risk. Five balls, five runs and we conceded. Uh, still one to go. And there is an appeal for stumping by Ampad Almod. So after the completion of first over scores on five for no loss. Chasing a target of uh, 23. So Shafiq is the second bowler uh, has been introduced by the captain Subhash uh, Hatnain to Aseta Hatnain to Renabashikat. 18 ball, 18 to get. Uh, the plus point for the team uh, Kings Qatar, they have all their wickets in hand, especially these two batters. They're going for the sweep shot. Uh, the ball uh, kissing the leg stick uh, onto the pad. Uh, a leg by signal given by the umpire. Uh, and the score slowly moves on to six. Uh, drifted onto the mid wicket position for another single. Uh, the first two balls, two runs have been conceded. Uh, every ball, uh, the runs have been taken uh, by the batters. Uh, especially as to one dotted ball uh, we have seen so far. Uh, once again, sensible batting, another single uh, onto the mid wicket position inside the 30 yard circle. Uh, eight on the scorecard. Uh. And this time, getting an outside edge, uh, slightly fumble by the fielder. Will the batsman cross for the second run? Uh, and they had uh, got an ample of time to convert the singles into double. Uh. But that two runs comes on to 10. Now the question is 14 ball 13 to get. Yeah. Excellent running between the wicket. Played wide history onto the cover position. Once again, another two more runs have been added. Uh, each and every run uh, has been uh, cheered by the, the fans of uh, Team Kings Qatar. So after the completion of uh, two overs goes on uh, two alpha no loss. So it means that remaining uh, two alpha ball they need eleven run. Under Rasita, another run now has been introduced for the first time in this uh, game uh, and they're going for the big hit uh, an outside edge uh, a single taken in a quick fashion uh, an extra running between the wicket by uh, the both the batsmen Ashraf especially running quite quick enough uh,
And this time, uh, playing over the gully position, Yatish the man doing an excellent work, at least stopping a couple of runs. Uh, first two ball, two runs have been conceded, and now the equation is uh, 10 ball, 9 to get. A uh, couple of dot balls will get a pressure. Uh, and this time, uh, uh, played over the goal position, the ball racing quite quickly to the boundary top. Uh, will the batsman close for the third one? Ashraf is quite quick enough. Uh, uh, three runs have been taken quite quickly. With that three runs, uh, the score jumping to 17. Whether it's the right decision coming from uh, Subhash by giving a ball to the hands of uh, Shiv Prasad when they have uh, uh, plenty of choices. Uh, and I say played uh, this time uh, a single taken on to the square leg position. 18 runs have been scored. Uh, just another five to get. Uh, definitely the chances is like 75 percent uh, the team kings Qatar will be the champions this time uh, four play hit the ball racing quickly to the boundary door with that the score is level what a hit coming in the bat of Ashraf the score is on 22 just a one needed uh, to be the champions of uh, Ocean Premier League uh, season four And the final run coming in the bat of uh, Ashraf in the form of a boundary towards the long off. With that, that's a victory for the team uh, Kings Kutar. They are the champions of Ocean's Cricketer uh, Pandit House presents Ocean Premier League Season 4.
So without uh, wasting uh, any much of the time, uh, let's uh, begin with the presentation for this uh, wonderful tournament which has been organized by the members of uh, Ocean Cricketers Pandit House uh, on the occasion of 25 years. Uh, we're coming to the end of this uh, tournament, Ocean's Premier League Season 4. Uh, the two teams uh, who have qualified for the final is the team uh, Hoysala Babugate and the team uh, Kings uh, Kuttar. Uh, at the end, uh, one team uh, will have to be the champions and one team uh, will have to be the runners-up. Uh, so without much wasting time, uh, let's begin with the individual award. Uh, the man who backed the man of the match in the final uh, there's no word, uh, excellent piece of uh, keeping, uh, excellent piece of bowling uh, and uh, excellent piece of batting to get his team into the victory position. Uh, so I'd like to ask uh, Mr. Ashraf uh, to come forward and uh, collect his man of the match reward and I would like to ask uh, Sudhir uh, to hand over the man of the match reward uh, for uh, Ashraf. Uh. Congratulations. I request all the guests, uh, you can just uh, make your way towards the, uh, the man who backed the man of the match. Uh. Congratulations, Ashraf, for backing the man of the match in the big final. Moving to the next uh, piece of award, uh, that is the best bowler of the tournament. Uh, a lot of uh, choices but at the end it goes to one bowler of the team Hoysala Babugate it goes to none other than Shafiq he's the man who backed the best bowler of this tournament so on behalf of Shafiq I request Mr. Jay Prakash Babugate to hand over the the trophy to the best bowler of this tournament Congratulations, uh, Shafiq, uh, for backing the best bowler of this tournament. Uh, the next uh, piece of award is the best batsman of the tournament. Uh, plenty of choices, uh, but at the end, uh, it goes to one uh, player only. So I would like to ask Mr. Ashraf once again to come and collect his uh, reward for the best batsman of the tournament. Uh, I request Mr. Rakesh to hand over the trophy to Ashraf. And also he will be rewarded with the bat. That's a, a great sign of a reward coming from the organizer. I request Mr. Ashraf to stay back. Mr. Ashraf, can you be back once again? I request Mr. Ashraf, can you back? Can you be back once again because you are the, the player of the tournament also for your outstanding performance uh, throughout the tournament on bat, on ball and also on the field behind the stumps. Excellent all-rounder for the team uh, Kings uh, Qatar. So congratulations Ashraf for backing a lot of uh, prizes. Now we have uh, the three piece of award that is for the third place runners up and the winner's trophy first let's go with the third place uh, it goes to none other than uh, the team Nithya 11 uh, i request the captain mr ganesh to come forward along with his players who i request mr shavin to hand over the, the trophy to the the third place uh, Okay, now uh, remaining with the two individual trophy that is with the runners up. Now, very forward, uh, it doesn't matter if you are the runners up, uh, you have played well throughout the tournament. Uh, you can come back strongly in the next season. Uh, all the players, uh, whoever in the ground of the team Hoysala Babugate, can come forward and collect your uh, runners up trophy. Congratulations, uh, the team Hoysala, for being the runners up. The next piece of award is the, the Champions Trophy of the Season 4 of Ocean Premier League with the cash price of 50,000 and the trophy it goes to none other than Kings Kutar. Congratulations uh, the team captain Naveen along with his boys uh, 
for bagging the, the champions of Season 4 of Ocean Premier League. Congratulations once again for the Team Kings Qatar. With that, uh, we are coming to the end of the, the presentation. Uh, so let's meet up uh, in the next season for the Season 5 of Ocean Premier League, which has been organized by the members of Ocean Cricketers Pandit also. With that, uh, that's the end of the presentation. Thank you. Hello, welcome to King Sports. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for recent updates. Hello, welcome to King Sports. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for recent updates. Hello, welcome to King Sports. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon.